Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, everybody. (coughs) It's your friend. Yep, it's the Ed Show. It's Thursday. (coughs) Hold on, man. It's Thursday night again. It's like every Thursday night. Yeah, another Ed Show. They're coming at you for about 13 seasons. So, a lot of you kids know it's the final show of my life. Next Thursday night, <laughs> you might hear the music, but you won't hear me. It's night the music died tonight. That's what happened. TMZ says a rich A-list celebrity is spreading herpes. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll let you guys know this is a herpes-free show tonight and an AIDS-free show. So if you got herpes or AIDS, don't listen. I don't want that. I don't want to catch that. Don't be calling in either talking about you got it and want to give it to me on the... Would you get herpes for $20 million, he said. No. Jesus Christ. You just said on TMZ. TMZ just says, would you get herpes for $20 million? So, uh, they, uh... Do you know that Columbus... Discovered America? Yep. He did. Columbus discovered it. But it's going to be a two-hour show tonight. So I'm sure a lot of people will be calling in. We're going to have guests and surprises. I'm going to read story time. We're going to do picture pages. I'm going to do my top ten favorite baseball players of all time. I may give out a few Eddie Awards as well. So you guys keep listening. And don't turn that down. Now I want to bring in my co-host for the final time. No, it's not Larry. Number one nine. What are you doing, man? Hey, the Ed. What's up, buddy? <clears throat> you there? So, yeah, I'm here. So, so it's your last show ever. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. No. Got to do it, man. And uh, you know, and a lot of people are in uproars <laughs> about uh about what I'm doing with the baby. Yeah. Me and Socknor went back and forth on test messages for about an hour and a half today. Well, you need to tell people who don't know what you are doing with the baby. Well, I already got the baby's box of life already, you know, saddled up. And I'm taking him over to the swap meet tomorrow to Jose. And Jose is giving me $3,500, and the baby's moving to Mexico. So you're selling the baby, and he's moving to Mexico. Yeah, so actually on this deal, I made $3,520. Nice. Ain't a bad take, I tell you that. God dang it! <laughs> but you did put out, you have put out a lot of money towards the baby in the last, you know, four years or however long it's been. So he broke a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, and think he of all the money vase. you spent training him. Well, yeah, he broke a vase in our house that cost eleven hundred dollars, and my son was okay. not mad. I mean, not, I mean, my son was mad. He was not not mad. He was super deluxe mad. Yeah, that'll happen. The baby well, the end, uh, milk on my sure tennis it, shoes one time. And, yeah, you, you ate all your tennis shoes. Yeah, one time but, he dropped my uh-huh. toothbrush in the toilet. And I said, oh, that's the worst. That back. He put it back for me. Though. I said, just get it, dry it off, put it back. But, yeah, I'm sure some people were hearing this news for the very first time, that this is uh, tonight's show is the last show ever. I'm sure it comes as quite a shock. 
Because you told us on the, for the first time. Well, <laughs> well if they listened to the show last week and they don't listen to the LCS show, well, you, you talked about it last night on the LCS hockey show, <laughs> or maybe they don't go and they don't read the Ed Times. You put up an Ed Times with it. So why don't you explain to the people why you're you're quitting? Well, the doctor, my blood clot's gone, but the doctor has told me that in about six months' time, I'm not going to know who nobody is. My mind is going ape nuts. <laughs> Your mind is going ape nuts. <clears throat> well, like I mentioned last night, yet I got to tell you, you know, I think your mind's been going ape nuts for the last four years since I've known you. I mean, why? You're not exactly the most uh, no, I mean, together individual, he, you know. Well, he told me that I'm not even gonna know how to count or know how to spell stuff that I You really I like, don't know, you know how to count or spell right now, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shut up. Dog. D O G. Ear. E A R. C. Man, I got all that stuff. Man. You've I'm proven me wrong yet again. Huh? You've proven me wrong yet again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, the Ed, we got some callers on the line already that want to talk to you. And if uh, people would like to call in and talk to the Ed on his final ever episode of the Ed Show, <laughs> the number is 646-716-7522, 646-716-7522. Uh, let's start out with a caller in the 250 area code, because I don't know who this is. Caller, are you there? Hey, number one nine. Hey, Ed. This is Rensko. Hey, caller, what's your name is? This is Rensko. Rensko. Hey, Rensko. Yeah. Yeah. When did you get out of jail, man? <laughs> oh, about two weeks ago, and now I find out that you're retiring. Yeah, yeah, they got me retiring, man. And unemployment office said, man, you got to be employed. Well, I just called in to thank you for these 13 years of entertainment, and I'll miss you. Yeah, I know, man. You, you haven't been in none of the games in a while, man. We just thought you was like some of these other suckers that just fall off a map and, and, and don't never get back on. Oh, no, I've been listening. I just haven't been playing so many games. Getting married this summer. Oh, congratulations. You got married or you getting married? Getting married. Well, got about three months I to run. I can't believe that, man. It's the first time you're getting married ever? Yep, I'm a young kid. How old are you? I'm 26. Oh. You should have been married by now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you always got to have a practice marriage, man. That's why you got to get young. Yeah, get one in under your belt early. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Ed, what, what, what about huh. some words of advice for the uh, newlywed to be? Well, uh, listen, man, you got to make sure the two rooms in your house are always happy. You need to tell your woman this. Make sure she take care of the kitchen and you'll take care of the bedroom. Tell me that. Uh, okay. <laughs> That'd be the best thing. <coughs> Tell her don't smoke either. Tell her stop smoking. Well, yeah. We don't smoke here. That's good. She don't smoke? No. Nope. So she's just smoking hot, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Where, where is you from in 250 zip code? I'm from Victoria, Canada. Wow, Canada. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, man, you were an overseas kid too, man. I can't believe yeah. how many people from overseas call us, man. I well, really can't believe it. Got... He's down in Canada. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he's up in Canada. It's not really over the, yeah. over any seas, but yeah. That's what I'm saying. Canada. I mean, the Ryan's over there, VJ from Australia's <coughs> over there in Canada. My Speedwagon's over there in Canada and Australia at the time, and, and uh. Crazy. Jesus Christ, you like international superstar. Now listen, it, it is a woman you marry, right? Like, you're not doing that gay marriage, is you? Oh, uh, it's a woman. She took part in a few of your games a couple of years ago. What her name was? I think it was probably De Elegant. Oh. That's oh funny. yeah, yeah. I thought that was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my woman. Know. Yeah, she she wasn't very good at the games, though. She was. <laughs> no, she wasn't very good you, at all. You was okay, <laughs> man. You was you was all right game players, you know. 
I, I seem to recall yeah. Rensko. Didn't you win a, a contest at one point, or were you? No, no. But Ed did huh. uh, nominate me for uh, worst Ed Games player oh. for the first <laughs> well, there you go. Eddie Awards. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, knew, that explains it. I knew you was nominated for something. Yeah. He's like sure. he's like a flat screen TV that don't work no more. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. Well, Rensko, thanks so much for calling in to the big final uh, episode of the Ed Show. Any, anything else you'd like to tell the Ed? No, just uh, wishing him good health. Hope he doesn't lose his mind anymore. Than <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's go. I want to let you know, man. Don't let nobody talk bad about you, okay? Okay. Same back to you. I don't All right. Agree to know tonight, guys. I give him a smack in the mouth. I don't care. Yeah. All right, Rensko. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. There he is. Yeah, that was good, man. Rensko was good. Yeah, I like yeah. Frisco, man. Yeah, he, uh, he always did what he had to do, man, because he had to make sure it was getting done. Because sometimes people wasn't doing what he wanted, so he was like, "I got to do this, and if I don't do it, who else gonna do it?" So we yeah, did it. Exactly. All right, Dad. I think uh, we have another. Uh, well, you know, you know this guy. Let's put him on caller in the six three one area code. Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Hey, caller. What's your name? Is uh, it's the little J. Oh, the Jesus little J, yeah, yeah, little J, little J, man, little J, yeah. little J, that's my buddy, man. Little I just changed my name J. today. I had them put the the in front day. of it. Huh? <laughs> I just had them legally change my name today to the little J in your honor. Oh, oh, that's a nice tribute. Little, you, know little J. J, you know that little J murdered Remus, and that's why we don't hear from Remus no more. Oh, I did not know that. He robbed. Little Jay robbed a bank over there in New York, and then he killed, uh, not Rensko, but Remus. Yeah, he had to keep it quiet, so he had to kill Remus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Little Jay, he, Little Jay's always been a good friend, man, to the show. Yeah, he a good friend, huh? He, he, he used to call the show every week no for a while there. <laughs> yeah, I just figured yeah. people were starting to get a little annoyed with the Little Jay on the on the show every week. Well, you, you you get on people's nerves pretty easy, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, uh, I'm a polarizing I mean, figure. I bet you got the Hawks tonight, didn't you? No, I took the Chicago Bulls. That's bull. And the under. That's yeah. bull. That's bull. That's bull. Yeah. Yeah, little Jay, man. Little Jay calls me all the time for gambling advice. This kid owes me. Damn me a thirty thousand dollars, I think. Nah, I think you still owe me five bucks, Ed. We gotta settle up before you die, or whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> well, the Ed, once you lose your mind, you can forget all about all the debts you owe. You know? How about you forget? I don't even know. <laughs> hey, who is this hey, talking the, to? Hey, Ed, are, you, are you selling that baby to make up for the losses from the, the Derby? Is that what this is all about, really? No, I got five million dollars in the bank. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. This is a good opportunity. A good a good transitional transaction that I'm making. Well, let me ask you. Do you think that's you, a good deal? I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen the baby yet, so. Baby's Sounds a champion. Like an all right He's, purebred. Deal. He's a purebred champion. I hope they have SpongeBob wherever that baby's going. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. They probably call him El SpongeBob in, uh, <laughs> in Mexico. El SpongeBob. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're going to have that, chocolate donuts, five-hour energy drink, or else, I mean, I've heard that baby throw a fit before. You've had to kick it in the head, so. I mean, the baby's a good kid, man, but you know what? I'm getting to the point where it's just either me or him, and it's survival of the fittest, and he's got to go. Yeah, he kick it. you're kicking him out on his own a little early, huh? He's got to learn the ways of the world. Well, yeah, I mean, they they got a new family. The Alvarez family's supposed to be taking care of them. Ed, you brought him as far as you could, man. I know. Just sometimes you need a new trainer. The Ed, you brought him to the, the, the height of Super Baby Fights. He's the champ. You know, what more can you do? Yeah. I mean, yeah, he, he's never been defeated. You know, he's a tough kid. Baby G, he was scared. You know, all those people, man, they didn't know what was going on. Redhead Pat didn't want none. You know, the Detroit girl got all scared. She's a girl. You know? Ed, don't you think that'll be a little sentimental when you have to let the baby go, or are you guys just going to be 
Ice cold, I guess. Now the cab pick him up. I got a cab coming about seven thirty. Do you think you'll, you'll hug the baby maybe once? I'll shake his hand. You shake his hand. That's not so bad. I give him. Well, I gave him my ATM card and wrote the pin number on the back of it in case he needs some extra cash. Oh, oh nice. that was nice. Yeah. Can the baby even reach the buttons on the ATM? I don't know. Well, most Mexico kids are pretty short, so I'm sure ATMs in Mexico is shorter than they is in America. Yeah, I hope he doesn't use any cash on the way down there. I told him to stop and get some treats and candy and stuff. This is unbelievable stuff, the Ed. Why? I don't know. I just I, I can't tell because you're. I don't want to say that you're uh, you're not real because you're real, but. I, I'm hoping that this is fake. It, yeah, the, a lot of people think this is all just a big scam, that you're you're saying you're quitting, you're retiring, and you'll be back next week. Because we've gone down this road before, the end. You know? Last well, year, you're supposed to get high betas. I was on high betas, man. I never said I was retiring. I never uttered no words retirement like that Brett Favre character did. Now, he, he did bad stuff. I told the truth. So you can say right now, even... You're like a boxer. You're like your buddy Floyd Mayweather. He, he always says he's retiring, and then he comes back. So you're telling us right now that you're retiring. This is it. It's done. It's over. You will never host another fake radio show again. That's true. Uh, that is uh, that is tough to hear, man. I don't know. I, I know there's going to be a bunch of people out there not too pumped to hear that. And, and once again, yeah. I don't I don't know if you uh, you know all the details of this uh, retirement, but the Ed says he's not going to. It's not only that he's not going to host his podcast, he's not going to call our show or any other shows. He's not going to post to the message boards. He's not going to be in the chat rooms. He's cutting himself he off from he told, society. He told, me, he, said he, he told me, I think he might even have sent me a text. He said, I'll catch you if I ever come to New York, basically saying he doesn't even want me calling him ever again. Yeah. He's not picking up phone calls. Yeah, he's, he's, he's quitting shutting Facebook down. and Twitters and everything. It's over. So, well, it's it's over for you know, it was a pretty wild run anyhow. So I can understand you wanting to get, you know, relinquish some of this stress. But uh, it would be a shame if you, uh, like you know, when, left completely. Like you better Tony, keep, better keep like the paper or something. It's like when Tony Dorsett went to the Broncos. Nobody cared. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, when Terry, I don't know. I think there's going to be some pretty Bradshaw upset went kids. To Tampa Bay. No one cared. Well, Terry Bradshaw yeah. never went to Tampa Bay. The end. Hey, the head. Huh. Ed. Huh. So now that you're gone, what would you recommend as another show on Blog Talk if you just like, you know, sitting back, relaxing on your bed for a show? Well, you have to I sit mean, back, I relax on this, your bed well, show. This other sh- there, there's a good show out there called The Sportscasters, and they, they <laughs> did probably one of the best interviews I ever heard with Brett the Hitman Hart. Sportscasters did right. that, and that was a great, great show. So I'd say if you want to listen to sports and you want real inside intuitiveness of sports, sportscasters, they had Brett the Hitman Hart on there, man. And, 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 and it's very hard to get Brett the Hitman Hart to do any type of interviews at all, but these sportscaster kids got him and did a great interview. I'm telling you, you should hear it sometime, man. Super yeah, Deluxe is good. Super Deluxe is good. You know, listen to LCS <laughs> Hockey Show. What? Hey, man, whatever happened to the UMass Damashek Show, man? Remember I me and you used to call that show, and me and you hosted it one night when they was they was too afraid after the Celtics lost or something. And, and me and yeah, you man. hosted it, and all we did is talk bad about Boston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I think they they held up production on that show. I, I'd have to ask uh, Scott to know for hey, sure, but I, I'm Bill. pretty sure they're yeah, done. You Bill. Bill was on that heroin, so. Hey, at least you could say you made it longer than the UMass Damashek show. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, well, nothing in Boston ever lasts. You should tell I mean, Scott. The only put thing that is, in your place only thing. Smoking. Ted Kennedy's still sober. I can't believe that he hasn't had a drink since he died. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah. Um, God dang blue. So, Ed, did I hear you say there's games tonight, trivia games? 
Yeah, there might be a trivia game. I want to try to win uh, a prize. All right, I'm going to give you a prize. That's it? No, I'm not going to give you No, I mean, I'm going to give you a trivia. All right. All right. Go easy on me. In the movie Friday, who plays the character of Debo? Oh, man, I even know the guy you're talking about, but there's no way I know his name. I have no clue. I'd go mashing it into the Google machine, but that would just be cheap. Alright, so you don't know what his name is. Tiny Lister. What is it? Tiny Lister. I had no idea. Do you know no. what Tiny Lister's name was when he performed in the WWF wrestling? No, I didn't even know he was in the WWF. Go ahead, though. His name was Zeus. Jesus Christ, man. How do you not know this Americana? I don't know. I, I really got to brush up on my Friday uh, trivia. All right, here, I'm going to give you another question. See if you know this. Not, not Friday, not that pertains to Friday, please. What about Saturday? <laughs> Maybe next Friday. Right. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I'm going to give you a sports trivia. All right, there you go. Sports trivia question. Name the jockey who just died and he rode the second place horse in the Kentucky Derby this year. This last week, and he just died three days ago. He died, huh? 24 uh, years old. Uh, How did he die yet? Uh, they're not sure, but he was found dead in his car at the stables at, Kentucky, at Churchill Downs on uh, Monday. Sounds like a murder mystery. Don't know. Wait, how did he die? He fell off? No, he was in his car, man, so they don't know if he killed himself or what. So I gotta guess which jockey from the Derby is dead. Yeah. Do I get the music? Da na 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 little J. He don't know what to say. He gonna get this question wrong. I bet a prize. I know he will not get. All right, I'm just going to go out on a limb on this one and say Michael Bays. Ah, you just looked it up on Google, you fag. Yeah, you're right. You <laughs> no, know, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, man, now here's double you, or nothing. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm out, man. I want my winnings. You can send double it along with my five bucks. Double or nothing. What, in, what former double NBA double player it. died yesterday? Ed, that's not really in the spirit of giving out prizes, but I guess double or nothing. So what's good? What former NBA player died yesterday? Uh, I don't know. Some kid from, uh, yeah, I don't know, he played for the him, Heat. Him. He played for the Heat in, like, the 80s or 90s, right? No, no, no. He played for the Bucks. He was traded for Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, oh Draft the Trailer? Yeah. Yeah, that's double or nothing. What did I win? That's not his name. It was, it was like James Trailer. Triple or nothing? Come on, you're killing me. I can't even believe I got that one. Because you, you all Google, man. You cheated. No, I didn't know. I just read that on ESPN the other day. Track the Trailer. I can't even remember right. his first oh, name. Okay. What's Track the Trailer's first name? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think it was James. Uh. Robert, <laughs> you lost so now, <laughs> Ed, I, I'm going to be a little upset, man, if you don't give me any prizes for this. Michael Bayes, man, who knows that? I, I, I had to dig deep into my conscience to, to get that one. Deep into the, you dig deep into the Internet on that one. Yeah, I had to dig deep into Google for that one. Well, well all right, little well, guy, we got uh, other callers here. Yeah, uh, no, I'll, I'll let you, let you, let you, you guys, let guys go. 
Hey, yeah, if you Poker leave for Chip. real, it's going to be a shame, man. Yeah, tell Poker Chip I'll miss him, and uh, I won't call his job no more and, and, and try to trick him. Yeah, all right, I'll let him know. Definitely get, maybe ring me one more time before you die or whatever. <laughs> all right, don't, don't let him talk bad about you. All right, all right little Jay. One, one, nine. Nice to hear from you, buddy. Take care. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, little Jay. Good, uh, good friend right. of the show, I'm little Jay. He was with us from the beginning, the Ed. Oh. Little Jay was one, was with us from the start. All right, caller in uh, the seven one six area code. Are you there? I am here. How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, caller, what your name is? My name is Malcolm Kelly Raps. How are you doing, the Ed? Hey, Malcolm Kelly Raps. You were just making fun of me, I think. Yeah, this is a sportscaster kid, the Ed. You were just yeah. congratulating him on his fine show. No, oh, yeah, I think man. he hey, man. me. Why? You had a good show. Uh, yeah, I, was listening, I was listening to your show the other day. Then you got the Dave on there, the Brett the Hitman Hart. No, we never man. had him. You're mistaken. We never had Brett the Hitman Hart. You didn't? No, he was never on our show. No, no, we had Joe Piznansky, we've had uh, John Butchergrass, you know, like you said, the Dave, Peter King is coming on next week, but we never had Bret Hart. I thought you guys had Bret Hart, man. No, no, you were even on one time. I thought you enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was good on your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did no a great one, job no one song, and, and we appreciate that. We appreciated that. But uh, I was disappointed to hear you calling it quits. I've always enjoyed yeah, yeah, your yeah. played your games and called your show. Yeah, was, I called a couple of years ago talking happened. about Blake Griffin, telling you how good he was going to be. Well, Blake Griffin's going to be on the Thunder. I'm hoping you're telling all your friends about it. And I'm going to tell you this, that last year, if you go back and listen to my shows and listen to my rumors and stuff, I told you fools the White Howard was going to be a Laker. Now you hear all these people talking about, oh, the White House is going to be like, well, God dang it, I told you last year. I know. Mm. I know it all. Like I said, Chris Paul was going to be on New York, Nick, and that's what's going to happen. Blake Griffin going to be on Oklahoma Thunder. Ain't no problem. You know everything except for that Bret Hart wasn't on the sportscasters. I don't know where you got that, that from. No, he was. No, he was <laughs> <laughs> I must have been, I must have been out that night. I, you know, I can't keep track. Uh, but I do love you, the ad, and I wish you the best. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Is that what it is? And my grand, my grandmother, she died of Alzheimer's disease. It was very sad. Oh no. She, she, she yeah, did. So what I happened I to her? Don't have that. What's that? How'd she catch? How'd she catch it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just one day, she was supposed to go to see the movie Beaches, and instead, she went to. Uh, See the hunt for Red October, and we knew something was wrong, and uh, she was never the same after that. And then she uh, died. Well, she but I got I got to tell you though, that that sounds like the right decision. Hunt for the Red October over beaches. I mean, <laughs> over I beaches, that yeah. Of, That's what I, I thought. But for a poor old lady, you know, she was just a little too bloody for her. She wanted, she wanted a nice, you know, story about friendship and love, not murder and. Was communism. she real? Pro, was she real promiscuous? <laughs> From this US? No, I don't think so. She was married to my grandpa for many, many years. And he was a lot older than her. He scooped her up when she was just a baby, pretty much. It was, uh, it was borderline rape, but it was in Italy. They didn't have the rules there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, she was I've only, I think, thought, 15 or 16. I've always thought that my that my future wife's probably in about seventh grade right now. I'll probably need her in a few years. <laughs> I don't want to know her now. Uh, I don't want to know her now, but I mean, I don't know Yeah, not now, but, you know. Number one night, who do you like in the hockey game tonight? It's uh, one great yeah. period for the Sharks, one great period for the Wings. What do you think about the third? Yeah, I haven't really uh, – I missed the first period there in half the second, and I have it on mute right now. I'm just watching it, but uh, I'd hope that San Jose wins because I hate this field. The first, period was, the first period was all San Jose. It looked like they are going to run them out of the building. Zetterberg had a real bad turnover, and uh, – well, hey, listen, man, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play, this is the Ed's last show. We really shouldn't talk hockey on the Yeah, we well, should can't talk hockey. I just wanted to sneak it I in there. You, and see who's I do, listen to me do hockey play by play. Watch. Okay. Oh, the one guy yeah. got the ball. Oh, he go down. He goes to the other kid. Oh, the other kid got the ball. Oh, he shoots. He don't score. 
<laughs> well, they really don't use a ball yet. It's it's a puck. You know, it's a, right. A puck. I played in a men's league once that used a ball, but they don't show that on TV. Yeah. Yeah, I know that one guy wore them roller skates in Atlanta a long time ago. Yeah, that no one guy wore the roller skates. All right, well, Malcolm Kelly Raps, thanks so much for calling the show. And, uh, All right, no best problem. Luck We've got the ad. All right, man. And, and, uh, yeah, yeah, really make do. sure you get more good interviews like with the Brett, the Hitman Harding. Right. Man, like man. Man. I'll, I'll try for the Anvil. I'll try for Jimmy Anvil Lightheart next week. Oh, okay. that'd be sweet, yeah. All, All right. right. Don't let him talk bad better. about this. Sports cast is number one, number one show now that the Ed show is going to be gone. All right, there he is, Malcolm Kelly Raps. Yeah, go listen to the sports casters. Yeah, so he, uh, but he, he's pretty adamant the that uh, he never interviewed Brett the Hitman Hart. He probably forgot. Yeah. Because I heard it. I heard the kid did a good job on it, too. Yeah, you heard it with your own eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the well, Ed. American Idol, though. Yeah, probably. Hey, uh, once again, if you'd like to call in and talk to the Ed, wish him well on his final show. The number is 646-716-7522. 646-716-7522. Hey, the Ed, I've been doing some research here while you're yapping with the other people. Uh, do you remember the date of your very first The Ed Show? Uh, November something. That's correct. November 20th, 2008. Yeah. So we went so 2008, been... 2009, 2010. Now we're in 2011. Yeah, you're about two and a half years you had to run. Two and a half years of shows. No, how Not many seasons bad. is that? How many seasons uh, is that? 13, 13 14. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But how, that's longer than your buddy Dave Damashek's ever had a show, right? Has he ever had a show for two and a half years? He's never had one for two and a half months. <laughs> that's right. So look at that. You, you beat the Dave. Man, the Dave, listen, the Dave <laughs> is a sad sack of potatoes, man. He's like a five-pound sack of potatoes, and you open it up, and there's just a bunch of bugs in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that's true. But, uh, yeah, we have another caller on the line. <clears throat> they would like to speak with you. A uh, caller in the 410 area code. Are you there? Hey, the Ed and Dell is Salvation. Hey, I, uh, caller, I, what's your name? Hey, is Salvation. I would, uh, you know, like protest the character assassination. On, you just put my good name hey, through a what? minute ago. Hey, caller, 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 slow down. What's your name? Is? <laughs> my name is John from Maryland. Hey, John from Maryland. How you doing? Good. First time, long time. Huh? First time caller, long time listener. Oh, you've been listening for a long time, huh? Why yep. are you just calling now for the first time? Yeah, you know, I, I heard about you on that Elevation Kids show, and you are pretty good, so I wanted to check out your own show, but now I hear you're retiring. Oh, yeah, Elevation, man. That guy's a good kid, man. He, uh, he got a pretty good, good show, man. He, uh... We have a lot of good people on this show. Yep. Oh, call in, Jesus Christ. You call in the show, you don't say nothing. What? You're the host, for God's sake. And I, I, you know who it is. This is Elevation. Uh, let's put the facade away. Just wanted to say uh, I wish you best of luck here. You say Elevation? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, you say your name is John. I just wanted to wish you best wishes on your retirement. I have a feeling you're going to be like Ric Flair, though, and you'll probably be back within six weeks, uh, you know. See, see, that's what everyone's saying. Yeah, no one believes that you're actually retiring. Because you retire, like, every third week. <laughs> that's right. I've never used the word retire in my life. I said, hi, Davis, man, hi, Davis. Look it up in a goddamn dictionary. I called in, like, three weeks ago because I heard it was your last show then because you were having medical problems, and you're like, yep, we'll, we'll see you around, and, and then here you are again. No, that's a lie. You never heard of it. <laughs> got a short dress on American Idol. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but Elevation, you were one of our first callers on the Ed Show. You, you were, like, uh, episode two or three or something you called in. I think I was on yeah. episode one, if I'm not mistaken. I think well, I was a popular caller, though. Mean, Remus yeah, I called in remember. and I think Elevation called in after that because Elevation didn't like me at first. And then I had yeah. to smack him in the mouth, and then he decided he wanted to be my friend. And then yeah, I, it, he decided yeah, he wanted to be like me and get a show and then talk about Philadelphia. Yeah, that's right. Elevation used to hate the Ed in the, in the early days. I didn't hate him. I just oh, I, I had difficulty him. understanding the appeal for a little bit. But then, uh, <laughs> yeah. I need appeal. I'm sexy. Oh, kind of right. women. No, I got a peel. 
Uh, I'm elevation, like, you just I'm missed, like a banana. Just, I got a peel. Yeah, he's got a peel. That's right. <laughs> elevation, you just missed your buddy Malcolm Kelly Raps. You guys could have uh, talked. Oh, you yeah, no, I heard about he it, was. Man. That was that was audio dynamite right there. Well, that guy, man, you know they had Bret Hitman Hart on their show. That kid, you uh, nobody heard cares. That. You know, it's like you have a thread and the last 18 posts in that thread are all by you, it's probably a good sign nobody gives a damn about your show. Well, what are you talking bad about my show for? No, he's talking <laughs> bad about uh, the sportscasters. Ed, and you love the sportscasters, so why don't you stand up for him? I got a sportscasters t-shirt on right now. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. Sure, it's made out of polyester. Got... No, it's made out of, um, made out of old washcloth, I think. <laughs> old washcloth. Yes, yeah, but uh, I never got no elevation T-shirts, and they never sent me none of those. Supposed to be in the Elevation Nation, I didn't get a goddamn thing. But <laughs> elevation, elevation Nation, yeah. Well, I didn't want to get sued by you too if I made an Elevation T-shirt. You know, I can't afford a big lawsuit. I don't exactly own the trademark on that. On what? <laughs> the term Elevation. <laughs> Why? Well, it ain't nothing but an elevator with a T-I-O-N on the end. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, Elevation, uh, thanks for calling the Ed's final show. Any, anything else you'd like to say? No, I'll talk to you guys in a couple weeks. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ain't got my number. <laughs> yeah, I'll be careful good. with uh, Adam Mizen with your my, with your David Wright potential trade. He's a, he's a tricky guy to deal with, so just be careful. Yeah, I, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm right, not, Elevation. I'm, I, have a, I have a feeling that message board post he made wasn't completely... Uh, Accidental, but we'll see. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Right, I'm sure you about that. All right, I'll talk All right, about that. Don't, Thanks, don't buddy. let him talk bad about you, and hopefully you will get some good guests on your show. <laughs> yeah, maybe he should get Bret Hart sometime. That'd be sweet. But, uh, all right, once again, I if you'd like to talk to the Eds. I get nobody of that caliber on his show. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But if you'd like to talk to the Ed, 646-716-7522. Uh, I, I, there was another caller on who had their hand up that they wanted to talk to you, and then they put it down. So if you want to talk to the Ed, oh, there it is. Caller in the 209 area code. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, caller, what's what your name? Is? We're, uh, we're at Cal State East, we're watching the uh, hockey game, Sharks game. What's your name is, caller? Ari. I Who? called you before, Ed. I called you a long Ari. time ago. And then you're quitting your oh. show now, yeah. Why are you yeah, I got to, man. There's people that people listen to it that don't even call, but they listen every week, like me. <laughs> well, yeah, man, it's just it's just time to go, man. The doctor says things is getting kind of hectic, and my mind ain't what it was, you know, a long time ago, and and I I, so, I gotta take it. Uh, he says I'm not gonna do know it. Someone has to do it. Ed. That's right, Ari. Right. Go ahead, and you can go ahead and take. We call it the Maury Show. <laughs> no, right. no, 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 no. So do you think you are, are the Sharks going to win, Ed? Or, Who? Are the Sharks going to win or is Detroit is? What the hell is this kid saying? Game we're 7, talking, Ed. We're, we're, talk, we're, talking hockey on your, we're talking hockey on your last show because you're gay and you're quitting your show. <laughs> San Jose and Detroit, Game 7. It's 2-1 San, oh, Jose, man, San Jose right Jose now. Is going, San Jose is going to win. It ain't no problem. Yeah, the Ed picked San Jose and... Uh, Boston, right, to go to the finals, and you picked Boston to win it all, and I think I picked San Jose to win it all. Is that right? Yeah. Uh huh. So I'm gonna be right because you're gonna be wrong. Right San Jose gonna win. Yeah. So, uh, well, Ari, I appreciate you calling in and listening to the show every week. Uh, now, do you think the Ed's really gonna Ari retire? Ari Povich. His name Ari no. Povich. <laughs> it's Ari. It's not Maury. Hey, Ari. don't don't quit, Ed. Don't quit. I'm not quitting. I'm retiring. See, quitting. Listen, you're I'm not you're quitting. quitting. No one's going to retire your jersey if you quit now. Well, you got to retire sometimes. What, what, else, to be... what else can the people listen to? Hey, listen There's to the no LCS Hockey shows. Show. LCS That's Hockey right. Show, you want to talk hockey? We listen yeah, to that, right. but I don't, I don't even like hockey. I'm just watching this game because it's uh, <laughs> game seven. Well, call, call, call the, the, the VCR report. That's on Saturday. That's a good show. <laughs> Uh, no, I I can't listen to that um, laying on my bed. <laughs> Only yeah, that no, it don't matter. Uh, you need some nonsense. You're taking, you're you got, letting people take over. You're you're like you're quitting on the people right now. You got the mumps or something? You know, <laughs> like 
now, like all podcasts, podcasts and radio shows are going to corporations, and you're the only real yeah. one. You and LCS, and that's right. You're Quite quitting. Really. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just what happens, man. Every 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 good thing comes to what happens. Yeah. Every good thing. Are you gonna what Are you gonna still gonna um be on Facebook or no? I'm retiring from it all, man. No more, no more internet, no more nothing. Well, that could be a good thing for you too. Yeah, I gotta slow down. Yeah, yeah. I gotta lose like 130 pounds, man. I weigh 179, 180 right now. So you want to get down to roughly 45, 50 pounds? That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Just we were uh, 190. <laughs> That's right. I, I can put you on a diet there. It'll work out quick. Well, all right. Thanks so much for calling. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, all right. Hopefully, I'm there's sh- a show next week. Yeah. No, I think no, all, all, right, right. all right. Don't let him talk about it, about you, man. Be good. <laughs> all, all right. right. All right. Povich. There he goes. Thanks, all Ari. Right. Ari Povich. Yeah. Hey, the Ed, you are not the father. No, I'm not. Yeah. He sounds like he's uh, next so, to We've got some phone lines open. No one uh, apparently wants to talk to you right now, the Ed. So do you want to do one of your uh, little lists that you had planned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will uh, talk right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about my favorite top ten baseball players of all time. Now, why are you doing a top ten list? Is it uh, you meant to do a top 11 list like LCS Hockey and you just forgot to do one? It says only a top ten? Or... I, I I want to be different. Uh, okay. No one does a top ten. Yeah, well, I think Dave Letterman does a top ten. You know, for like the last twenty-five years or so. But. I don't know. I, I can make it eleven if you want. Yeah. All right. Well, well, let's hear it. <clears throat> all right. My top ten favorite baseball players of all time. At number ten. Oh, holy oh, Ed! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I think we have a special caller on the line. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's hold off on the baseball announcements real quick. Uh, um, I don't care. I think this might be an old friend of yours. Let's see. Caller, are you there? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, Caller, what's your name? Dick yeah. Banks. It's Dick Banks, yeah. Huh? It's Dick Banks. Dick Banks. Oh, Jesus Christ, stop it, kid. I thought you had a baby coming. <laughs> I do in a couple months. Hey, congratulations, yeah. Dick Banks. Thanks, and man. It's kind of crazy because Ari Povich just calls, and now well, the kid, Dick Banks calls, and he pulled down a baby, and they're trying to set me up. Nah, man, I'm not going. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty about 98.3 percent sure that this is mine. Well, well, Dick Banks, if it makes yeah. you feel any better, the edit, the edit has told me in the past that uh, it is not his child. He swears <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I mean, because the timing could be close, because I was out there about 16 months ago. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the uh, baby's due in uh, in August, so yeah, we're oh, we're, we're all excited. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, can... That's uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not get not getting any younger, so I gotta I gotta be a daddy at this point. You know, Dave did well, it. The... I gotta do it. Yeah, and the great thing yeah. is that you know the Ed. So if you ever need parenting advice, just ask. Oh, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> right, diet advice, sure. Uh, well, you know, now, Dick Banks, did you know that I'm giving away the baby tomorrow? Well, I'm not giving them away, but I'm selling them tomorrow to the to the swap meet people, and they took it in this school for thirty five hundred dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. No, no, I got paperwork and everything. Oh well, then in that case, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I got wow. All I got to do is sign a I got to sign a waiver of liability. Okay. Let me ask you a question, guys. Why? What's going on? Why is this the last show? Yeah. Well, I went to the doctor. You knew I had a blood clot in my leg. Yeah. Now the doctor has took X-rays of my head, and at first <laughs> he showed me what? X-rays. Yeah. And I thought I had a huge brain. Uh huh. Uh. Uh-uh. It was some kind of tumor. Well, that's oh. not true at all. You just... He's just making this up. It's not true. No, I'm not. Then he tells me within the next six months, I'm not going to know anybody or whoever. Ooh, I think you're an American. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Good Lord. 
They had got distracted by a lady on American Idol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that I'm not going to know nothing. I'm not going to be know how to count. I'm not going to be know how to spell. I'm mm-hmm. not going to be know how to know the states. Nobody cares about that. I know yeah, all the capital. Can't have a radio but, show, I guess. Look, I, I, I went to what? high school. With, let me, let I me would, ask number one nine. We're going to prove number one nine is a dummy anyway. Well, all uh, right. Uh, <laughs> number one nine. Uh-huh. What is the capital in Arizona? Uh, Tijuana. No. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess, I'm guessing uh, uh, this is a trick question, right? Why? Because right away I'm thinking Phoenix, and that's got to be not, that's probably not true. No. All right, let me ask you, what's the capital in Pennsylvania? Harrisburg. No. <laughs> well, yeah, that one's right. I know that one's right. Uh-uh, it's the P. I said, what's the capital oh, in I see. Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. Yeah. But, but now I'm wondering, what, what is the capital of Arizona? <laughs> is that a, is really a, a, the capital in Arizona is yeah, I know, but what is the capital city in Arizona? Is it Phoenix? Who cares? Uh, I don't know. Who cares? That's not the question. <laughs> All right. You got me at the end. <laughs> but now I really want to know the capital of Arizona. Eh, it's probably America. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> sure. The, uh, hey, you got, the, you, 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 you're worried about not being able to uh, spell or count or knowing the states, the uh, 50 states. Uh, look, man, I went, I went to high school with guys, and I ran into some of these guys maybe three or four years ago. I don't think they know how to spell or count, or I think most of them think there's 52 or 53 states. In not 56 now, 56 now. Exactly. So I, I don't think that's going to hurt you too much. I don't think it should keep you from doing a podcast. Well, they say I'm not going to know numbers. You don't have to know How numbers to do a podcast. Call, I got to call the number. Hey, and just so everyone knows, Phoenix is the capital of Arizona. You're welcome. Yeah. Right. Who cares, right. Who cares yeah. about that? Now, now, Dick Banks, if I remember correctly, I think you were on the very first episode of the Ed Show, weren't you? Didn't you call in and uh, t- we were talking about your socks or something, and the Ed and Franklin picked up a hooker? Do you remember that? It was way back. <laughs> you know, that's possible. Uh, it was I, back in November 2008. That's oh, wow. Uh, yeah. You know, what's funny is 2008 to me seems like, you know, last year or six months ago, <laughs> or it's still 2008. It's 2011. I swear, the last five years, maybe it's because I'm getting older, but the last five years went by like, yeah. I mean, I just blinked and they're gone. But uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. The older you get, in. the faster it goes, right? I guess, I guess. You know, I, I've, I'm past the big 4-0 now, so is Damashek, and uh, we're both moving at the speed of light at this point. We're going to we're gonna wake up gumming our food on a park <laughs> bench somewhere feeding pigeons. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think um, – uh, I think maybe I did. I, I don't remember exactly, but uh, I might have. Yeah, I might have called it. Yeah, I think I think you were there. And uh, just think how the Ed must feel if, if you think time's flying. The Ed, you're, you're what? Fifty? Going to be fifty-eight? So I'll be fifty-eight. Uh, yeah, because last year I was fifty-seven. Next year yeah. I'll be fifty-nine. Yeah. For a while there, you're aging backwards, but now you're you're back to aging forward. Yeah. I mean, I'm going regular times, and then. Yeah. Well, know, this is the last show. Sorry, guys. If this is the last show, what do we got lined up? There's got to be, what, big celebrities calling in, big-time <laughs> entertainment? Well, Dick, Dick Banks, you're it, buddy. <laughs> you, wow. You're the big celebrity and the entertainment. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. Listen, <laughs> listen man, I got a pair of Dick Banks underwear that he autographed, and I'll be giving it the way. <laughs> but yeah, is that, is that game-worn underwear? <laughs> Yeah. When he when he when he made it with his wife, he threw him to the side of the bed, and I grabbed him. <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's also possible. Yeah, it's, like, it's all, it's it's all like, possible. Well, it was like two thirty in the afternoon, and we was recording these songs. And he goes, "Hold on a minute, right. I gotta go. I gotta go knock it out real quick." No, no. <laughs> you gotta go knock it out real quick. Yeah. Now, now, Dick Banks, that truly was one of the highlights of the Ed Show. When the Ed went down to your place and recorded songs, uh, he did like "Oh No" and uh, "Booty in the Front." 
uh, yeah, that was, my that grilled was, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, was, was that was a lot of fun. In a long sitting on a rock, I was feeling real sad with a hole in my sock, and then I looked in the sky, and then I seen a girl who looked like a guy. <laughs> And I said, oh, no. Yeah, yeah I know. I said, yeah. oh, no. Yeah, that's great. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Yeah, so anyway, you Dick know Banks, what? I'm going to tell, uh, tell you something. It really hurt my feelings when I first started <laughs> singing that song when we were recording this. I was singing it with all my heart, and the Big Bang started laughing. Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I was on the track. And when we played it back, all you could hear is him cackling. <laughs> Man, That's true. Look, that he doesn't even know. Just the same way, he couldn't even hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, that was a, that was a fun day. Uh, you know what? I, you know what I like? I like taking, like, I have to do a lot of this stuff for you know promotions and and uh, TV promotion and TV uh, uh, composing and stuff. Where you take, you just take some random stuff that they give you. And they just basically want it in there anyway. And it was kind of like that with the voice. You could just take him singing and then just, like, cut it up or just take it as is and then just compose, which is that what, that's what I did, basically, and just compose music behind it. And uh, that was awesome. And I, this is the strangest thing. I and mean, th- no one would believe me, and I'm not making this up at all. Every song, and I'm not kidding, I, I believe, and I, I don't remember exact key, but it was in a key. It was in, like, the key of G. Or, huh? or 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 possibly B, but it was it was in a key like perfectly, like perfectly in pitch because I didn't have to tune anything. That's awesome, fine. That's huh? why I'm professional. Yeah, I it's a professional. I with the booty in the front, bump bump booty in the front, <laughs> booty in the front, bump bump booty in the front. Wow. See, I, I know them songs yeah. like they on the back of my hand on the newspaper. Exactly. Uh, now, Dick right. Banks, I'm sure we we can say that that was the highlight of your musical career was working with the Ed, right? Oh, sure, of course. Most profitable day too. Yeah. <laughs> eight yeah, eight hours, bought, uh, eight hours of no bought, income, but uh, yeah, you know, a, it, 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 he bought me a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> but what I what I like about uh, what I like about stuff like that is I don't get to do stuff. I mean, everything I do is boring. I mean, you know, people are always like, hey, why don't you promote what you do? Because it sucks. It's boring and no one cares. <laughs> like, no one wants to hear music that goes behind, you know, a commercial for laundry detergent or music that's way in the background of some television show. No one cares about that. I'm not going to promote that on Twitter. Like, hey, guys, if you watch uh, 24, minute, uh, I don't know, 15 or so, <laughs> I've got 18 seconds of music in the background. Just listen uh-huh. for it. Yeah, no one cares about that. So um, but people do I don't care I, about booty in the front. You know, they hear that and they're like, "Hey, right. uh, yeah. sure, yeah, exactly." Yeah. That stuff's funny. It, it lasts forever, um, and it's entertaining. The, the other stuff I do is just—it's just garbage. It really is. It, it, it makes <laughs> money. That's that's great, but it's it really is garbage, man. You know, that's why I'm that's why I'm sitting here in uh, in the heat in Arizona. Uh, I'm sitting in my studio actually right now. I'm, Staring at all my junk, but uh, just uh, just actually did some stuff with uh, Dave uh, today. Well, pull your oh. pants up. Why are you sitting there staring at your junk? What in the world? Well, at my junk, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I, I was uh, working with Dave a little bit today, so that that should oh, be for exciting. his podcast for the NFL podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's I, I you know I, I I'm really excited about that show, and I and I'm I'm looking forward to uh, future episodes, but. Uh, yeah, uh, just just did some, you know, just some of the usual nonsense <laughs> that I'm a part of or whatever. But uh, but it's a good it's a good time. So so this the is Dave, it though. This is the this Dave, is the this Dave is missed out because I won't never do his show again. So when he calls me, oh, we need your expertise on NFL because I don't know nothing about football. I'm like, no, nope, can't help you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, then then that then that podcast might not last very long. Well, man, listen, we've already, yeah. we already know he's never had a show last more than two and a half months. <laughs> yeah, the Ed's lasted well, two and a half years, right. so I think he's beaten Dave's <laughs> longest show. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, this, so th- this isn't like practice. There's not going to be, there's not going to be like a, you know, hey, late April Fools, or th- this is it. Yeah, this that's is what really everyone expects. It. 
but but the ad says he's serious that he's really retiring. Because I saw that and I thought, ah, whatever, you know. But I, I guess I'm taking it serious like everyone else now. The Dave signed to do a show one time, and the ink hadn't even dried, and they let him go. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well Dick Banks, uh, the Ed says that not only is he giving up his podcast, he's going to quit calling all podcasts, including the LCS show and all, every other fake podcast. Then he's going to quit uh, posting on the Dave Damashek message boards. He's going to quit you know, on Facebook and Twitter. He's quitting everything. He's retiring from life. Wow. What do you? I mean, is, yeah. this, is this really a retirement? I mean, you know, 58 years old. Is this just? Uh, is this? Is this it? Are you going to kick back and just hang? I mean, no, no. No, no public appearances, no uh, calling in, no, no anything, no posting on Twitter, I'm no Facebook. Down, no. Well, I'm going down to like I'm going to check out the flood. People down in the south, I'm going to investigate the damage. You're going to investigate the damage of the flood down south. <laughs> that's so that's what you're going to do with your free time now. He's going to work for FEMA in his free time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rest easy, nation. The Ed's working for FEMA. Yeah. Wow. No more New Orleans <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> he had us at the helm. Wow. Well, uh, I mean, I, I'll make sure that they get the right proper equipment that they need, man. They get buckets, throw that water out. Oh, okay. <laughs> get, get, so you're just going to travel down there with a bucket. <laughs> Hand that to, out to people. Here's a bucket. Wow, that's crazy. I, now, see, I don't, buy, I don't, I don't believe it. I, I think... I think that the 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 Ed following is too big. I think that people are too enamored, and and I think that that there's it's going to be kind of like at the end of a concert. There's going to be an encore. You know, you're going to hear. I should hope so. You know, yeah. and then eventually he'll he'll appear again, better than ever. I certainly hope so. Wrong or right? No. Nope. The Ed? Are you there, the Ed? <laughs> yeah, I'm I think you retired you. already. Uh, you no, I'm not here, oh, all right. That's the way to do it. Start... I'm probably going to lift weights. <laughs> You're going to lift weights. <laughs> Middle of the show. <laughs> you can't even do push-ups. Remember you tried to do push-ups oh, live on the air. You don't have to do like three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do push-ups right now. Hold on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dick Banks, uh, if I remember correctly, you're a big fan of the idea of oh. push-ups on the show. So let's see. Of the what? The push-ups? Yeah. 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 Hold oh, on. It's my favorite right. part. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you, Ed. Good. Uh, yeah. Uh, one. <laughs> uh, two. Two. Uh, all right, I'm doing. All right, I got two in. <laughs> That's two it's good like, ones, though. It's like, it's like Bill Murray on strikes. Yeah. Remember Bill, Bill Murray's on strike. On strike. Like why five? is Bill Murray on why is Bill Murray on strike? What do you do? No, no, no. They had the movie Stripes. He, he was trying Bill to do Murray push-ups on strike. At the yeah. What did he do? He tried to do push ups at the beginning to show that he was fit and in shape. Right. Classic. And he couldn't do yeah, he couldn't do many. I just got a I, think, I just got a test message from major minority. He wants to know Ask Dick Banks if he's imitating the California wildfires and burning tree. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, see that that's the deal now. I got a kid coming, so oh, got to cool right. on that. Good for yeah, you. I got the red oh, yeah. wine. <laughs> I got I got I got the over forty drink. I got the uh, red wine in my hand right now. That's just sad. Nah. <laughs> What you gonna name this kid, man? If it's a little girl, name her Robin. Robin no, it's, it's, we 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 know it's a boy. Robin oh, okay. Banks. That would be a good name, man. Robin Banks. But it, no. they know it's a boy, the Ed. So uh, Dick Banks, are you gonna name it Edward? <laughs> Ed Banks. Uh, after a long debate with my wife, no, uh, <laughs> I lost out on that one. But uh, we have a couple names right now. We have it narrowed down. It's one of those things where everyone, at, you know, family, everybody, oh, what's the name? What's, what's it going to be? We've narrowed it down to a couple names, and we'll probably spring that on our family here in, I don't know, probably a month or so, oh, something like that. Jasper? Your name Jasper? No. Jasper. No. That's a good name. I will, I will, I will give you – I'll tell you what. Dad, I'll give you five guesses. See five if you can guesses. get it right. 
five guesses what you're going to name this baby. Yep. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, Dave Montgomery. <laughs> Dave uh, Montgomery. Close, but no. Uh, cigar neck. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I couldn't repeat that if I had to, but no. Nope. What about no, Royal? Royal no. Banks. <clears throat> nope. I like it's got two got more. Like a ring to it. it does, mm-hmm. but no, that's not it. Two more. Um, asphalt. <laughs> nope. You don't hear many kids named Asphalt these days. I Not very many. Asphalt, asphalt Jamerson, he was a good kid. Yeah, he was. What about... Uh, Got one more. Think about it. Mm, Come on, Ed. One left. It's a dead air. I know. Flipper? <laughs> no, that's a good name. Flipper. No. That's not it. No, no, we got, we got, you had, and by the way, the odds were in your favor because we've got two names that we're thinking about. We haven't decided. Oh, yeah. Yet. Yeah, it's, and, uh, they're, and they're not Flipper or Asphalt, so. <laughs> no, no, not even close. I don't, I don't remember going Jimmer? over those. You should name him Jimmer, no. like the kid from BYU. Nope. 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 How about? Uh, oh, by the way, uh. I think uh, I think the Ed had a uh, uh, prediction for the NFL or the NBA uh, finals, and I believe that is still – is there still possibility for that, correct? Well, yeah, so it's going to be the Weatherman series, the Thunder versus the Heat. Right, so <laughs> it's getting closer. Yeah, I, no I, was wrong. Gonna happen. I was wrong about the Heat. I, I thought for sure that uh, – oh. I thought for sure the Celtics would wipe them, but uh, nope, still around. Yep, but you was wrong. I was right. Well, it's par for the course, pretty much. Hey, uh, hey Dick Banks, hey, did you hear the news? Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, sorry, Ed. Go ahead. Did you have a little story? The other day I went golfing. I, I, uh, I went golfing the other day. Oh, really? What'd, What'd you shoot? shoot? Uh, I got What'd a, you shoot? Uh, what'd I get? 51? <laughs> well, that's for nine? nine? <laughs> for nine holes? No. Uh-uh, Six. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Yeah, because Dick, a lot of people don't know this. I came in first. Dick Banks is a hell of a golfer, right? Right, Dick Banks? You're always playing the golf. Can't shoot no 51. I I bet you. I I was at one time, I think. uh, I think. um, You know, (laughs) when I came back here, I I had every intention of playing a full schedule. And um, when you sit on your ass for uh, a good seven years, making noises for people <laughs> in front of a computer and you put on 25 pounds, you can't go back at it. And you're older. You're like 38, 39. You can't go back at it full steam yeah. because you're going to start tearing parts of your body off. And that's, that's what happened. I, got, I had bad tendon problems in my right arm. I took a total of eight months off, and um, I'm, I'm back hitting balls and practicing and doing all that. So hopefully after this summer – you know, because we get like 110 degrees in the summer, you can't play outside. You'll die. You'll do. You'll die if you do anything outside. Just walk into the car, you can die. Um, yeah, so, I, can, yeah. I can run all day long in that kind of heat. It don't matter. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. But uh, uh, but yeah. So I, you know, I, I uh, so after the summer, you know, after some morning practices and all that and stuff, and I've been working out. I'm. I'm in. I'm in the best shape I've been in a long time. I sound like uh, some. I, I sound like. Uh, I sound like some athlete returning to the uh, to yeah. the NBA. Yeah, I'm in the best shape of my life. You know that that's what the boxers always say before they get knocked out. By the way, uh, yeah. by the young guy. But yeah, I, I'm I'm in good shape. I've been I've been working out. I've I've lost the fat, the the baby fat, and um, I'm feeling a lot better. And now when I practice, I'm not going to hurt myself. So yeah, I'm going to play a full schedule this next winter, depending on how much I can afford. It is expensive, so we'll see what happens. But. Uh, I'm not getting any younger, and while I can still do it, uh, I want to go out and compete, and uh, hopefully I can get to some bigger events and have some fun. You know, that's what it's, what it's all about. So yeah. I'm not look, I'm not going to quit my day job, but I'm going to definitely. Hey man, hey, hey go Banks, I was just looking in my closet, and I got an old winter coat that I don't wear anymore, and I'll give it to you to give to the baby. 
<laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm sure well, the baby I'd, would really I'd pre- appreciate it. Yeah. I'd appreciate hey, that. Make- there will be there will be a baby yeah. shower, so I'll, I'll mention that to my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's actually large. Yeah, it would be the perfect fit. But Dick Banks, you mentioned you lost weight, uh, 25 pounds. The Ed's trying to lose weight. Can you give him any advice? Yeah. Cut the carbs. Cut the carbs. Hit the carbs. Yeah, I Hit. cut the carbs all the time while I'm dealing them. <laughs> no, carbs. <laughs> carbs. Carbs. <laughs> Carbohydrates, well, cut, Ed. Cutting carbs or cards possibly might be a part of cardio, but I, I really – you'd have to cut a lot of carbs to to, to, yeah. to cut weight. But I, I've – I cut out all the I cut all the bad carbs and um, I uh, I eat very clean as far as I'm concerned I, I eat clean and uh, I hit weight I hit the weights for 35 minutes and I do cardio for 30 and um, that wow. pretty much does it that's it and I feel I feel Honky good I, I mean look Honky White Sucker told me to start doing something crystal meth or something and he said I will eat a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah that'll do it well, too the end. Yeah, that that's the I quick never, way. I never tried it though. I mean, shoot, he said I could probably lose like forty pounds in two months. You know, yeah, you know, easily in a week. Uh, really? Yeah, for for well, me, I get that GN, I get a GNC. What? I get that a GNC. <laughs> no, you, no, you can't get the crystal meth at GNC yet. Maybe yeah, high health, order. but yeah. yeah, possibly high health or uh, or Trader mm-hmm. Joe's. But you're never gonna right, you're I never get gonna get a GNC. Phone. I'll go to Trader Joe's tomorrow and ask him for it. All right. Yeah. yeah make yeah, a note. Do that. Make a note. Yeah. I, uh, no, I, you know, I, I just, I tell you what, all you, all I do is, and I'm not making this up, motivation, every time I'm lazy in the morning or whatever, I got a picture of my uh, hallway photo from the ESPN show. And, <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, who's that 50-year-old guy with four chins? Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so, so I had to, I had to get in shape. I mean, it's pathetic. I, it's, I mean, yeah. look, when I when I lived in LA, that's that is the fattest I have ever. I mean, all I did out there was basically eat and go out drinking. I mean, that's that's yeah. all, that's all I did. So, you know, and the booze puts it on you quick. So, um, you know, the Dave slipped down or slimmed down too. He's uh, he's cut he's cut some of that baby fat off. He's so he's looking he, he a little. Have the big the big pie face anymore? He lost the big pie face? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, it's like a hot pocket face now. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not quite a pie face anymore. He's, he's, uh, he's slimmed okay. down, but, uh, I got a 10 gallon head anyway, so I got to watch, I got to watch it because it does go to my gut and my head, you man. Got, it's two places. You got like a retarded person's head. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? I don't know. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said you have a, he said you have a retarded <laughs> person's head. Were you retarded means. when you were like seven? <laughs> no, he wasn't you retarded when he was seven. No, <laughs> <laughs> don't. No, I was never retarded. Yeah, despite what you heard. You yeah, know, I never was retarded. I ain't never been I retarded. Think, I don't. I don't think you grow out of that. <laughs> yeah, that sticks. No, no, I knew yeah, a kid that was retarded for like twelve years, and then one day his mama said, "Stop acting like a retard," and he was regular. Oh, well, he was regular. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Well, well, Dick Banks, uh, we really appreciate yeah. you calling into the final show here. Uh, it meant a lot to us, and I know the Ed, you appreciated hearing from your old buddy, Dick Banks, right? Yeah, I like him a lot. He's a good guy. He don't even got no earring in his. No. Hey, here's a suggestion though, the Ed. Since you're retiring, why don't you go down and visit Dick Banks, and you can help him raise the baby, like you can be Mr. Belvedere. We need to take care of the, the family. You know, well, that's not helping anybody. I was, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I was thinking if he wants to make an offer, because I'm taking offers for the baby tonight. I mean, hey, Jose wants to give me 3500 but I will take less to keep him in America. Oh, that's <laughs> So what about a less money to keep it in the United States? <laughs> yeah, you can you can buy the baby off the Ed, and then you can have two kids right away, like an instant. That is patriot. I'll take two thousand right now if he stays in America. Oh, That's yeah. a true patriot, but I I you know I just can't do it. I, uh, I I'm guessing I'm guessing I'm, this is just a guess. My wife probably won't go for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, she don't have to have this baby. She can already have this one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that's kind of that's kind of already coming out. 
or the one she's got in her belly, she could just get a refund. Just get a refund on it? Yeah, it's too late now. I think we're past that 90-day grace period. We, we're, we're, this is coming out. It's it's uh, one way or another. It's, it's coming out. Yeah, it's it's long slap snapping time. It's 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 coming <laughs> out. But uh, yeah, man, I'll tell you, I'm bummed out. I, you know, I, I thought this was all kind of a, a gimmick or, or or whatever. I thought it was like, ah, I'm just kidding, kind of a thing. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not leaving or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm bummed out, man. It's uh, it's one of the good yeah. shows, one of the good ones. And Dick Banks, we were—I was talking to the Ed about having you come on and do a regular MMA corner, like like a little segment. You and the Ed could talk MMA, and now he's quitting the show. So yeah, now that now there's no MMA corner, fantastic. Yeah, I'm like, God, I'm such a nut for the MMA. God, I'm hey, so did, you, did, you news, that, did you hear the news about Brock Lesnar? Is that what you were going to say? Or? The news about what happened? Hey, uh, he heard he his, oh, his belly. Yeah, he's going to be out. That kid, he's going to die. I told you that a long time ago. Yeah. He might have to have surgery on his stomach again. So, or well, he didn't have it the first time, but he might have to have it this time. So he's out with that Dos Santos. Uh, Carwin's going to step up and fight Dos Santos now. Oh my God! How did I miss this? Yeah, I, I just read it before I came well, on. Don't to sound like show. don't sound like if you had him in May corner, we'd learn shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would come on. I would come on with with month old news. Um, I just I just went to UFC.com and I'm looking breaking news Brock out of 131 Dos Santos to face Carlin Wow really yeah. that would you know be a good fight though Carlin yeah I tell you what I, I I didn't give Brock a chance anyway any 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 stand up fighter is going to knock him out he he yeah. just you know anybody steel, would if they was in a steel cage Brock Lesnar would win well, <laughs> well if if you know I, I there's a lot of rumors going around for a long time that he wants to go back to professional wrestling. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know, the money's yeah. huge. Brock you don't Lesnar get hit for done, real, you know. Brock Lesnar should have done what I told Tim Silly to do. When he became champion, throw that belt in the trash and tell him to F off and, and, and go back to wrestling and make some real money. i tell you what, that's not a joke because uh, where's Tim Sylvia now? Exactly. Yep. I told him a long time ago when he was 18-0 and and the champion. I sat down with him. We met with Shane McMahon. I told him, do it. <laughs> Shane McMahon, listen, Shane was going to give him $4 million to come to WWF, and he said, uh-uh. Wow. That's crazy. You can't – I mean, those guys don't make that much money. Either. I mean, Brock does, but I'm sure that uh, – I'm Sylvia wasn't probably making that kind of cash. Uh, wow, that's crazy. He made $35,000 for his heavyweight title defense. Oh, that's pathetic. What a racket they're running over there, <laughs> really. Yeah, Dana's the only one that makes money. Dana and Lorenzo over there. That I think Dana should have to fight. I think Dana should have to fight every pay-per-view. She should have to fight somebody. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, you know, wow. That, I, did, I, see, I didn't see that. I missed the last uh, uh, tough episode, and I've been working all week, and I missed all the, uh, the MMA news. That's the first thing I go to every day. I go to that. Then I'll go through the rest of the websites that I check out. <clears throat> most of them are illegal, but I go through. I go through most. Of, yeah, I go through the websites after that. But I always go to MMA first. I always go to the UFC. I go to the Yahoo Sports. I check all the uh, MMA stuff out. And uh, of course, I'm a big golf fan. Uh, speaking of out, Tiger. Oof, wow, he's I, I, he. If it, if his if his Achilles is bad, uh, he's out for eight months, a year. Uh, and I, 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 done, man. Tiger will not beat Ralph Nicholson's record or nothing. Ralph, well, yeah. Jack or Ralph, either one. Uh, you know what? I, I would have I would have completely disagreed with you two years ago, but now who knows? Who knows? Now it's he's it's all up about, in the air. I, he's talking about doing movies. <laughs> really, Tiger Woods is going to make movies. Tiger, because he he yeah. is a handsome fella. And what would be better than seeing that mug on the big silver string? They want, oh, yeah. they want him to play a villain in a Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> All right. What's is there a punchline? Or? Yeah. No, it's a true story. Oh, okay. okay, watch. Yeah. Watch in three years when you see Tiger Woods on the big screen with Tom Cruise. You're going to be like, how did Ed know that? Well, Ed, I know every <laughs> bad dang thing. Yeah. Tiger Woods would be the worst actor in a porno. I mean, he... <laughs> he is the he's the least charismatic guy of anybody. He's awful. But he got all the ladies. But he got all the ladies. He's doing. Yeah, he's got all the money. You know. We're talking he's worth... about this. This is true. They're talking about making 
a movie about an Italian golfer. <laughs> what? An Italian golfer? Yeah. And and Tiger Woods will play Clubber Lane because he got a clear. That is terrible, yeah. <laughs> and it's like I, would the worst. Love to see, I would love to see that Rocky Three script uh, transcribed into golf. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> that would be awesome. That's what they're going to do. That would be fantastic. All right, guys. Hey, you know what? i got to get out of here. I still got some work to do. And All right. Don't really really talk bad about your big banks and, and make sure you take care of that baby. Oh, oh man, you got to make sure, man. The baby, there's a lot of good things you got to do with this kid, man. You got to throw him up in the air and make sure you catch him. You got to do all the time. <laughs> well, I will make sure I catch him. That's for sure. Yes, uh, when, you bite if, if I do when you bite the umbilical cord off, make <laughs> well, sure no, you do, do it. You got to get it tough with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, see, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass on that. Yeah. That's, that's another know, thing that's possibly illegal. This is illegal. what you can do, too. This is what you can do now, too. This is true. You can get this thing called the cord blood, and that's where the stem cells is, and you can keep the stem cells. So if he does something stupid, you've got his stem cells, and you can fix them. That's actually <laughs> true. We've actually looked into that. That's actually true. You put it in a little blood. See? Yep. You, you talk to me like I'm some goddamn, you know, guy on the, sitting on three pies. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever talked to you like you've been sitting on three pies, but all right. Yeah, I'm not even sure what that means, to be honest with you. But hey, 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 hey fellas. You. Fellas, it's been, it's, it's been, it's been uh, awesome. It's been great, right. but uh, I'm, I, I really am bummed out though that the if the, if the show is really going, I, I'll wait till. What I'll do is uh, next next week I'll sit around, I'll wait, and then if yeah. if there's no theme song, then I'll then I'll really get bummed out. But uh, yeah. but yeah, I guess, I guess it's it's really the end. It's uh, it's it's sad. It's one of those things. You, it's like the sun. You think it's just going to go on forever, but yep. uh, I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, I thought the day was going to be my friend forever, too, but you saw how that worked out. <laughs> I'm telling you, cage match. <laughs> yep. All right, Dan, winner thank you, something. Buddy. I really appreciate okay. you making the time for us. There he is. No problem, guys. Hey, you guys have a good one, and I'll be listening to the rest of it. All, All right. right, thanks, Dick Banks. There he is, the great Dick Banks, musical genius and uh, a good friend of the Ed. That was nice of him, the Ed. You know, uh, because he didn't know, was, you know, this was going to be the last show, but I, I just uh, got a hold of him earlier and said, hey, Dick Banks, can you call him? Bang, he calls, just like that. What a guy. Mm. Well, that's what he does. That's what he does. Hey, the Ed, we have another caller on the line. Uh, they've been holding the whole time throughout the Dick's Bank, uh, Dick Banks conversation. So, uh, caller in the 510. Are you there? Wow, like hey, awesome. what's happening, the Ed? Hey, <laughs> what's your name is, caller? Hey, the Nick Cage. Hey, Nick Cage. Nick Cage, what you doing, man? I remember you were his valley girl, man. Nick was Cage. <laughs> oh, no, you, man. I just, uh, I just got done watching the Daggum Sharks game, man. Yeah, the Who Sharks won? beat the Red Wings, the Ed. The Sharks I won. I told you. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, well, I told you. you. Did. I, told you I told you Sharks yeah. going to win it. See, you yeah, know, you know, the Ed, the Ed is all-encompassing of knowledge, my man. I yeah. try to be, man. I try to tell everybody what's going to happen three days before it does. Yeah, that's what the Ed does, man. You know, the Ed, you also did tell me to bet on uh, Oregon to win the BCS championship, though. Well, you remember that? they got to the finals, though. Yeah, hey, you know, you didn't lie about that part. You know, sometimes you know, the Ed, I'm the coming down to. what they're supposed to do. Hey, Ed, are you going to be alive uh, come June 25th? I doubt it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty bad, the Ed. Why? Well, you tell you what, Dad, if you're alive June 25th, I'm going to be in Las Vegas. Where, where, where are you going to be performing at? I'm going to be staying at Planet Hollywood. What you coming in town for? You got a come visit? No, I just, you know, uh, my friend said, hey, Derek, I'm going to go to Vegas. And he said, you want to go? I said, yeah, sure, why not? The head lives out there. I'll go hang out with him. But, I mean, That's then I heard you're going to die, so... So I don't, I, I don't know if you're going to die. Your name, I thought your name was Nick. Yeah, Nick Cage. That's what I meant to say. My name is Nick Cage. 
You said your name was. What did you say your name was? Darren. No, no, that was a mistake. Oh. Yeah. oh. People just be calling up here with fake names and junk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people always do that kind on. of thing. You know the one what? night we talked today on the on the Facebook Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was talking about the JFK conspiracy. Yeah, that's right. I ain't no conspiracy. I didn't, I didn't realize it was Nick Cage I was speaking with. Martin Luther King that? killed JFK. Who did? Martin Luther King. What about him, yet? <laughs> he killed he JFK? He killed JFK, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's not true at all, actually. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I'll have to that's what the movie research, said. Does. <laughs> the movie said he killed him with a, a throwing star like the ninjas have. Yeah, I don't I, know I don't what happened. Yeah. I remember because I remember what happened was Martin Luther King was in an old cutlass. <laughs> and he, uh, he drove by. <laughs> no, that died. really didn't happen. <laughs> no. Well, no, well Nick Cage, uh, anything else for the Yed? No, I'm just going to miss this guy, man. I can't believe he's going to yeah. be leaving. I've been listening to him for like three years now. Or yeah, do you, 18 so do you, seasons, whatever it is. Do you believe he's actually going to retire? You know what? Uh, the Ed's never gone this far saying he's going to retire. I think the Ed's leaving for good now. Well, you, you, I think you this wanted, disease has really got right to his What's that? You're one of the smart people. All these other idiots. Oh, Ed will be back tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, Ed's going to... Ed's going to go downtown and jump out of a god dang airplane. Oh, yeah, he's going to do it. Oh, no, he's going to do it. No, I, I think the Ed's gone for good. I'm probably, I'm, you know, I'm probably going to cry for a, for a little while, but, you know, I guess it is what it is. There'll be some you new know? guy that you guys will be listening to, and you'll say, oh, man. Yeah, I know we won. Yeah, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss you, the Ed. So, you know, hopefully you're not even going to do this Facebook anymore. Now, I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm, but I'm going to tell you this, man. I fully endorse the LCS hockey show. Oh, yeah, okay. I fully endorse it, too, you know. I and appreciate good that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Ed, you know, you take care of yourself. Maybe I'll see you in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks. I'm going to give you a call. You better answer your phone, Ed. <laughs> I don't know if I have it. You're, you're, you're not going to die by then, are you, Ed? Come on. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Well, hopefully you don't Who die, knows? Ed. Hopefully you don't All right. die. All right. Well, you take care, Mister One Nine. I'll be I'll be listening to your radio show still. All right. Thanks, buddy. There you go. Bye. The cage. All right. <laughs> Big fan. The Ed. Uh, how about that? Uh, he, he's going to come to Vegas and visit you if you're still alive. Well, he probably will. Yeah. Um. Once again, if you'd like to call and talk to the Ed on his final show, six four six seven one six seven five two two. We still got a good half hour or so left in the show, the Ed, because we're going two hours tonight. It's an extended program. Two hours. Long yeah. time. How about, do you want to run through your top ten baseball players now since we have a little time here? Yeah, I'll go through my top ten baseball players of all time. Now, at number ten, this guy started out with Montreal Expo. He was pitcher. Then he got traded to the Mariners. Then he got in a World Series with the Diamondbacks. Can you guess this player? Well, you, you forgot uh, a stop yet. He was also in Houston, correct? He's Astros, too. Can you guess this player? Yeah, Randy Johnson. Yep. Why is he? I would never have guessed he's one of your favorite players. He doesn't seem like an Ed kind of guy. Why not? He's big like me. He's a big, tall, skinny, goofy-looking white dude. Well, he's cool. Oh, All right, sorry. number nine. This kid played for the New York Yankees, then later on played for the Texas Rangers in center field. Huh. Can you yeah, guess? Yeah, I, I don't know. Kid? I cannot. Mickey Rivers. Mickey Rivers. Mickey Rivers, yeah. He's a funny fellow when he talks. Doesn't he talk kind of weird, like real quick, no. like fast? No, he's a good kid. He's good. All right. At number eight, this kid played for the Cleveland Indians most of his career. I think he played with the Cubs or the Expos also, but I'm not sure. But he was a first baseman in DH. Andre Thornton. Never heard of him. One of my favorite. You never heard of Andre Thornton? Nope. He's a great first baseman, man. 
Number seven, this kid played for the Houston Astros and the Detroit Tigers. He played first base and third base. Enos Cabell. Now, that's a good name, Enos. That's what Dick yeah. Banks should name his kid, Enos. Enos Banks, see? Yeah, that'd be a good one. Or Cabell Banks. That'd be even cooler. Yeah, Cabell, too, yeah. This number six player of all time played for the Seattle Mariners. Then went to the Cincinnati Reds and went back to the Seattle Mariners. Can you guess this kid? Ken Griffey Jr. You got it. Yep, Ken Griffey, my six, six number, number six player. My number five player was a New York Yankee pitcher. He's my favorite Yankee pitcher of all time. Left-handed from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Ron Guidry. Ron Guidry. Hey, hey, Eddie, real quick, thinking about Ken Griffey Jr. Remember when him and his daddy hit back-to-back home runs in the same uh, game there? Remember that? Yeah, Poppy and uh, and the kid, yep. Now, did you and the baby ever beat up the same baby, like, uh, back-to-back in, like, a baby fight contest? Like, did you ever smack a kid and then the baby came in and smacked him? No. Mm, Okay. Number number three, are we up? Number four. Number four. This kid played for Pittsburgh Pirate and Boston Red Sox. D.H. an outfielder. Mike Easley. Wow. That's weird. Wow. I don't know. It just doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem like he'd be one of your favorites, but all right. Oh, I like him, man. Number three, the best designated hitter of all time for Seattle Mariners, Edgar Martinez. Why is Edgar Martinez your third favorite baseball player? Oh, the guy was a machine, man. Huh. Number two is my favorite pitcher of all time. He was Houston Astro. His career got short by a stroke. J.R. Richard. J.R. Richard. Yeah, he had a, all the records like uh, as a young pitcher, right, coming up with strikeouts and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, right. yeah, man. He, he struck out 300-some people in one year. Yeah. And number one, the stolen base king, the greatest player of all times. He's not as fast as me, though. Ricky Henderson. So you're saying you could, uh, you're faster than Ricky Henderson. If we start you and Ricky at first base and say go, you get to second before he does. Yeah. Now, when you stole bases, yeah, did you do the pop-up slide or did you go in head first? Uh, how, how did you like to do it? I stood straight up. Oh, I'm so fast. Oh, you didn't even slide. have to slide. You yeah. just ran right in there and just stopped right on the base. Uh, yep. It's pretty good. Yeah, so uh, that's what happened. Yeah. So, well, now, do we got any more callers or should we do this special ceremony? Uh, we have no callers at the moment that want to speak with you, so uh, why don't you do the special ceremony? Well... I'm going to induct some people in to the Ed Hall of Fame. And that means that these guys are really idiots. These people have shown what it takes to be an idiot. That they are true to what I'm trying to do. That's what happened. So, right now I'm going to tell you some of the people who have made the Ed Hall of Fame. So, in Not order to qualify firm. for the Ed Hall of Fame, you just have to exemplify everything that is the Ed, right? Like, you, you live your life like the Ed, you honor everything the Ed does. Is that kind of what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay. So the first person that I'm going to induct into the Ed Hall of Fame, and he will be in there by himself until I announce the second person's name. Oh, so yeah, that's a nice honor. Yeah. The first person who's going to go into the Ed Hall of Fame is an overseas kid. He is a Steeler fan. He even came to Las Vegas to meet with me. 
His name is the Ryan. The Ryan. He's yeah, well, he's not an overseas. He's from Canada. He's not an overseas kid. I mean, he's, he's down in Canada. He's down in Canada. Yeah. So, the Ryan is in. The wow, Ed what an Hall honor! Fame. The first person in the Ed Hall of Fame. And yet, I should let you know that the Ryan emailed me prior to the show, and he apologized. He said he, he wasn't going to be able to call tonight because he has to work and stuff. But uh, <clears throat> he wanted me to tell you how much uh, you mean to him and how what a big fan he is of yours. And he and he hopes he, this isn't true that you're retiring. He hopes you you know continue your career. Ah. Well, too bad. <laughs> now the second person that's going into the Hall of Fame is a really good kid. This kid made CDs of all my shows I ever appeared on. He's also my son, Dreamer83. Yeah, he's a good kid, all right. And uh, of all your fans, he took it upon himself to, like, get every appearance you've ever made, to document it, to archive it, to save them on CDs, do it all. He, he's like the uh, the Ed Scholar. He, he knows everything there is to know about the Ed. Yeah, he's like an idiot, for real. Yeah. Now, another person that's been inducted to the Hall of Fame, this guy, he probably thinks he's a better gambler than me just because he just won the Ed World Gambling Championship number 11. But he's only got three titles, and I got four. So he's not better than me no matter what he says. And it's Joe. Joe. Joe is in the Ed's Hall of Fame. He's a good dude. Yeah, he is a good guy. Hey, hey, how many inductees are going in? Because we have a caller on the line who I think wants to talk to you. But uh, I think I think well, it's your buddy Franklin. Franklin, put him yeah. on for one second. We'll talk to Franklin for a minute. Okay. Hold on, let me. Franklin, are you there? Oh yeah. yeah hey there man, is. what you doing, Franklin? I'm just sitting here with Debbie, just having a good time. Uh oh, she got her hand on your nutsack. <laughs> Which one? The left one. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> she always on the left side, man. She's a, she's like a left. She's a le, she's what you call a southpaw. Man, you ain't right. <laughs> you ain't right. Hey, man. Remember, I told you it's going to be the last show, and then you was like, well, what happened? And I told you what happened, and you was like, oh, man, it shouldn't happen. So, well, I don't believe it, because I'm, I'm out here in Colorado, man. I don't believe it. Well, you know, that's just what happens, man. You wasn't out here, and I didn't have no friend or nothing, and, and then you getting married, like, next month, and, and then I didn't even get invited to your wedding. I'll be back there in a little bit. Don't worry, man. <laughs> oh, you come back to Las Vegas? Hell yeah. We'll Where be out go, kicking it in the north. You bringing her or you come by yourself? Who? Solo? <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. See, what happened was Franklin never got too much love in his life. And now he found him a woman. <laughs> But now he thinks he's like Mr. Player. <laughs> well, he's Frankie Onassis. He'd be tapping those asses. That's <laughs> right. That's right. I know. Yep. That's why they call me Frankie bucks, o. For 40 bucks, he gets three blanks. <laughs> <laughs> the people, uh, Franklin, are you drinking right now? Your own tea. <laughs> what you got? What you drinking on? You got still reserve in my hand right now. <laughs> That's right. You do? Still reserve. Jesus Christ. They sell still reserve in Colorado? Oh, yeah. They, they, they sell them by the 12 packs out here. Did you go to the Mets and Rockies today? Carlos Beltran hit three home runs in one game. No, it's freezing cold rain, and I wasn't going that game. Ah, Jesus Christ. Uh... Well, yeah, man, a lot of people, they always ask about Franklin. They say, what's wrong with Franklin? I thought, I don't know. He's stupid. 
That's fucking smart. He didn't go to the rain game. Well, yeah, I know. He, uh, you still got your trailer out there in Colorado? Yeah, and I was wearing my Mets hat today. Everybody was giving me a hard time. In your trailer park? I thought I was going to have you in a couple of fights because I was like, man, I got a Mets hat on. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. What what kind of trailer park do you live in? It's nice people? 50 50. Uh oh. Half nice, yeah. half bad. Exactly. Well, if you lived in an all black trailer park, you'd be all right. That, that's the one the tornadoes hit. I don't, want to, I don't live there. They had tornadoes in Colorado? Oh, hell yeah. Jesus Christ. We don't got no tornadoes here, man. No, no, no. That's what happens, though. All right, man. Well, I, I got to do my Hall of Fame, man. So uh, I'll probably talk to you this week or something, man, and we'll figure out when you're coming out here and then bring some money, man. You owe me money, man. Nah. <laughs> I gave you the derby pick if you didn't bet it. Yeah, you, you lost. I, I told you bet that animal dog or whatever his name was, and you didn't bet it. No, nah, man, you said bet bet whatever horse I wanted to bet, and you would say okay. <laughs> All right, man, I'll be out in a couple months. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be All right, Franklin. Take care, buddy. You guys have a good night. There All you right, go. Man. Go. Go after Franklin. Oh, sorry, I I cut him off. Sorry, Franklin. <laughs> I thought he was done. <laughs> but uh yeah, of, of all your buddies, the Ed, Franklin, he's your true he's your truest pal. You and Franklin oh, yeah, go way back. Moving, I guess he's moving back to Las Vegas. That's good. I've been waiting for him. Yeah, because when we started the show, Franklin was living with you. Remember? Like back then yeah. he was staying at your house with your son and everything. Well, and maybe then he, he'll uh, probably, he'll probably move back. That'd be great. Because uh, for my money, the, you're at your best when you and Franklin are just hanging around being being pals, you know? He's your, you're like Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, you and Franklin. All uh, right, we got some more induction nations <laughs> for Ed's Hall of Fame. Last one we did was Joe, so congratulations, Joe. Now, the end, when you're inducted into the Ed's Hall of Fame, do you get like a jacket? Like, you know, in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, they give him those, those yellow jackets? Do we, is everybody going to get like, a jacket? Get a button. A, a button. Oh, a button. That'll be nice, yeah. So this next guy is a good message board kid. He's overseas too. Mario Speedwagon. Mario Speedwagon. Congratulations. Yeah. Now this next induction nation E is also from overseas, but he lives in the future. VJ from Australia. So VJ already knows that he's in the Hall of Fame. So he already congratulations did. anyway. He already he already called me three days ago and said oh, thank yeah. you. He already heard this last show already. The uh the next person that's in the Ed's Hall of Fame I sure hope he gets divorced one day, man. Major minority. <laughs> well that's not nice. Saying that you want him to get divorced. Oh yeah, I want his wife. <laughs> well, I guess that's a compliment then. All right, all right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, Major Minority. Hey, we no. should mention Major Minority. He wrote that song. Remember that, I uh, Poop My Pants Today? Remember that song oh. he wrote in your honor? Yeah, that was great. I never heard that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what happens, I, I, he's having a baby, him and his wife is. And it ain't mine. Oh, so that's two two babies that aren't yours. Dick Bang. Ain't, ain't that kind of coincidental that two people <laughs> listen to my show their wife's going to have babies. Yeah, just listening to your voice over the air, it makes them, you impregnate the ladies. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't know. The uh, the uh, other time... Huh? What? <laughs> you were doing your in- inductionations into the Ed Hall of Fame, yes. Major minority was the last one. You just pick up there. All right. All right. The next person that's going to get inductioned, this kid already called the show tonight. Little J. Little J. One of the originals. Little J. Yeah, he's a good kid. Now, another guy is getting inducted. 
after he died, and that's Uncle Remus. Yeah, Remus was like like you said. I think he was the first caller, maybe, to the show. Yeah, he was. And, uh, he, he was a, a great pal over the years, and now he just suddenly disappeared within the last year. We we have no idea what happened to Remus. He died. Hmm. Now, the God next kid, he came out here to meet me, M.J. Martin. He is in the Ed Hall thing. Yeah, he should be. That's deserving. Uh, he, he's always been a good fan, a friend of the show, and he's called him numerous times. So congratulations, M.J. Martin. Now, the next kid in the Ed Hall of Fame, he called the show tonight as well. Elevation. Elevation gets in. I, I, as I tell you, I thought he was on. He was borderline. I wasn't sure if he'd get in. No, nah, he made it, man. He, he's a Hall of Famer. Well, well, the Ed, we have a very special caller on the line. Uh, how many more nominations do you need to announce here? I got two, three more. I got a group setting of the Memphis Four are going into the Hall of Fame. The Ed Hall of Fame, all right. Who else? Then my good friend Sock Norb, Greg God, made it. Or Craig, Craig then, Dodge. Yeah. Then finally three honorees. Number one, nine, and Larry for the LCS show. Oh, thanks, Ed. Yeah, and then I hate this guy, but if it wasn't for him, no one would know me. That stupid the Dave. <laughs> so the Dave gets into the Hall of Fame, the Ed Hall yeah. of Fame. Yep. Well, it's funny you bring him up, the Ed, because I got a surprise huh. for you. Right now, on the line, see if you recognize this voice. Caller, are you there? I'm having a hard time speaking. I'm very choked up right now. <laughs> Hello, caller. What's your name? Is? I have uh, I've been lucky enough to receive many honors, many honors. But I don't think I've ever known such an honor as this one tonight, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and stand next with, and to be able to stand next to the hockey kids. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. What is, what is real? How are you, the This is it's the Dave, the Ed, your buddy Dave Damashek. You just weren't talking believe... about me. I was yeah, just talking. To... You were just talking about me. It was a nice moment, and then I and, and one moment later, you don't even recognize my voice. Infuriating. I don't hear it very. I don't hear it very often. True enough. But anyway, <laughs> the Ed, uh, you know, speaking of infuriating, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I'm shattered as is everybody listening tonight why Uh, why, bring me up to speed i'm sorry i don't want to backtrack but you know just why you why are you hanging it up right now well you know last month i don't know if you knew this or not but i got a serious blood clot in my leg that ain't no lie talked about it yes okay but now i went to the doctor they get a head x-ray and i thought man my brain sure is super deluxe big Mm -hmm. it's a tumor in my brain Oh, no, that's so, not true. He's making that up, yeah. hopefully. He's making that up. Then, the, the doctor tells me in six months, I'm not going to know nobody or know nothing. I'm not going to know how to draw or add. And many, I mean, subtraction contests I've won in my life. And then I'm not even going to be able to spell. I don't want to stop. I, you know, I understand you're explaining everything, but... But just, I, I don't know if you were asking that rhetorically, but how many subtraction contests have you won? At least 17. Is that right? Yeah. A hundred I minus even, I, it's it's funny because I've been around. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of contests, as you know, and it's yeah. funny. I've never even heard of one. But anyway, continue. Oh, man. Nine, nine minus two is seven. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Nice. I so, mean, you know. And then tomorrow, listen to this, Dave, you, you, you'll understand what I'm doing because you've got kids. But I'm taking the baby to the swap meet, to the Mexico kids over there. Jose's giving me $3,500 for the baby. He's going to give him a brand new home with the Alvarez's in Mexico City. Is that right? 3500 yeah, and I'm making out on this. I got twenty the first time I got him. Now I'm getting thirty five hundred to get rid of him. Wait a second, thirty. So wait, but but this time you're going to get thirty five hundred. But yeah. that's just like a down payment, just to make sure that you show up. That, that they gave you that when you last were together, as sort of like this. This is to show you we're serious. Here's the thirty five hundred. But when you deliver the baby, that's when you get the ten k or something like. That. I mean, it's got to be. Doesn't a baby got to be worth ten k these days? 
Oh, really? I thought 3500 was pretty good. Uh, no. I didn't. Yeah. All right. I'm, you know what? I'm out of the loop. I've ne- you know what? I've never put either kid well, on how the much did you? How much did you buy your kids for? I, you know, I don't like to tell tales out of school for that, but. Yeah. Somebody told me that you had to pay the woman that had your kids a lot of money. <laughs> you know what, though? I love them. You know, it, it's it's unconditional. Yeah. No, everything's conditional. There's always conditions. Uh, and the baby, the baby's ran out of options. He's like a minor, a major league ball player. He so you got to so you got to send them to Mexico. But I mean, are you going to be? Do you think you'll be sad though? I mean, is it going to be? Are you gonna, I don't I mean, know. I packed up this box of life the other day, and he's uh, he's ready to go. Hmm. He's got his that was that hard to do. Did you, get, did you get nostalgic when you were doing that? No, I ain't sick. Here, you know, like, I mean, did you see, like, I mean, do you have even, like, I, I wonder, do you have a memento from the first night when you thought his mom, yeah. you were just holding on to the baby for a second, you know, you thought, oh, she'll be back in 20 minutes with $20 for me. Then at that moment, little did you know, your life was transformed. It ruined my life, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I thought you there really were no life. good times. Yeah, it probably huh? enriched your life. Well, I mean, you know what? Kids are kids, man. And then sometimes, I mean, he was a baby fighting champion for a long time. But, I mean, hey, he needs a new trainer now. And and, 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 they, and I'm sending his championship belt with him so they'll know his pedigree. They'll know what's going on. They're going to yeah. know. But I even told him, too. I said, hey, man, if you don't like it there, I'm going to draw you a map. And that's how you get back home. Anyway, oh, that's nice. good. You know, that's what they say. What is this, Dell? You're a literate guy, isn't it? Like, uh, you know, if if you love someone, let them free. You know, if they return to you, right? Isn't that it? So, yeah, you know, or maybe, from, uh, maybe this I don't, Dave, do you remember the, the episode of Cheers where Woody's parents wanted him to come back home, and uh, and at the end he was allowed to stay in Boston, and he said because someone called his dad and told him if you let your son choose his own path, it will always lead back to you. Wow, I don't remember that. Well, I drew a map because I drew I drew an X that said home. And an X that said Mexico on the other sheet of paper, and I do a long, <laughs> no. long squiggly line. Well, that'll work out. Yeah, a long yeah, squiggly line. That sounds like a map to me. Yeah, I wrote map at the top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's I all you know. need. Two X's, yeah. a squiggly line, and map at the top. But the yeah, the day brings up a good point. Are you keeping any uh, mementos from the baby? Any, uh, you know, to, so you can always remember the baby? I got a couple pictures. Oh, well, that's nice, a couple pictures. He did a school picture this year because he graduated kindergarten. Yeah. And what, what was that? What did he draw? No, he graduated, man. Well, I know, but what what was the picture? He, he drew a picture. What was it? Huh? No, good Lord. I, uh, I you went through to the days of the... Uh, so, really, the Ed, you and the baby are kind of like the, the, the Mayweathers of, uh, of baby fights. <laughs> That's, That's right. That's going to be like the... His, yeah, we, his don't ever ulti, lose. we don't ever lose. We don't ever lose like on again, now. off again. Uh, father trainer in it, who, who's in and out of the joint. <laughs> so I, ain't never been, I ain't never been locked up a couple of times. Yes, you have. Yeah, a couple of times. Exactly. You've been in jail a couple of times. Yeah, but everybody has. Well, I haven't. I've never been to jail once. Yeah. You got to be kidding. No. I remember. Uh, I remember once. Well. I mean, technically, I've been in a jail against my will. See, that's Once, what I'm saying. Well, when I was in, uh, like, uh, I, in, in maybe 11th grade, I, you know, I, I, I was pretty square, as I still am. And, I, uh, you know, me and my chums, we didn't go out to any crazy shindigs. But we went to this one party, and it was wild. And we were, think, we were saying, like, wow, what, do these kind of parties go on all the time? And it was in a, we were in the basement of a house. There were hundreds of people there, all all youngsters, you know. And uh, so it was, a, it was a great party, beer and everything. And then all of a sudden, sirens everywhere, sirens everywhere. Okay. It turns out that the party was being held as a way to, for a guy to deal drugs uh, to <laughs> teenage kids. And well, uh, I mean, well, how how else is he supposed to get that clientele there? You got to have a well. Party. Was it, well, yeah. what was it, the interesting thing, the yeah, Ed, maybe somebody might do this to you. So I'm just saying, be ca- be cautious because it sounds like you're on your way to needing a live-in nurse. This guy who was de- dealing the drugs 
was the live-in nurse for a guy who had Parkinson's disease up up in his bedroom who was completely incapacitated, couldn't do anything, you know. So this guy was having parties down in the basement, and somebody called the cops on him, and we had no idea people were dealing drugs there. But anyway, paddy wagon after paddy wagon took every kid into the, into the jail, and I remember everybody was just sort of sitting around, I mean, like literally 100-some people sitting around, and uh, this lady cop walked in, and she said, Get your butts off these desks. You ain't at no party no more. <laughs> I was in heaven. Is that when I had to send Moma Shack that fifteen hundred dollars to get you out of jail? <laughs> Never mind that. But what did Mo have to say about that, Dave? You got, she you wasn't know, happy about it. She wasn't happy yeah. about it. She thought I know that was when wrong. she called me. I didn't know was, what was going on was there. This when she called me. I know that. <laughs> I don't like when. You when, was last, when was the last time Moma Shack called you, Dave? Well, um, three weeks ago. But he had told me when the day they got I'm locked up. I'm trying to be a wedge like, in my family, the Ed. Huh? After everything that's happened, you're still trying to be a wedge in my family. Well, I can't help it. You're the one got locked up, not me. Well, Mo, Mo Damashek has rejected you. I mean, not rejected you. She <laughs> kindly, she kindly, you know, said she was flattered and moved on. I don't even think that's true. I think she was just trying to be nice. I don't think she even thought that. But I think she's, you well, know. I don't know. She's like, hey, I don't know. really, so I'm very flattered, but I can't, you know, kind of thing. I, I wonder how Mo's taking the news that this is the Ed's last show. Has anyone told her? I honestly thought about, uh, I, I sincerely did think of uh, calling her and asking her to telephone in tonight. But I, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to get onto that again. It's, it's just like, why am I playing with fire, you know? Why am I going to yeah. poke the bear with a stick? You know, That's right. I'll, talk, the hook I'll right. talk to her. I'll talk to her later. Ain't no problem. But no, you <laughs> don't. I don't appreciate you talking that way. What? But, but, you don't have but to Dave, hear can you believe it? The, the Ed's been on the air doing his show for two and a half years. Unbelievable. Yeah. And you've never had a show last more than two and a half months. <laughs> That's true. Huh? I, know, I, I mean, don't know. It might have to you. How many times did I, did, did I tell you? Who signs contracts for two and a half months? I, I've never heard of it. <laughs> well, I don't know if he signs contracts. But, uh, the Dave, what, what is now, it? No, that's uh, even worse. That's what's even worse is that they give me a contract that goes longer than two and a half months, but they say, so what, we'll just give you the money. Just shut up already. You know? You're off the air. That's what I get a lot of. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, listen, but, I have uh, a problem with you already, man. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that I didn't even realize the other day. I was on NFL.com, which I very rarely visit. But I started reading an article about you were talking about, I didn't even know you had wrote the article. You talked bad about the Peyton Manning. And I was like, who the heck wrote this stupid article? And I look up there, I see your silly looking face. <laughs> well, you know, I said, listen, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Listen, no, no, because, no. listen, no, he's not. Overrated. Because, listen, he, doesn't, he does not play defense. If Ben Lisberger had didn't have that defense, he would not win nothing. The defense and yet he's is what carries twice. him. And yet he's won twice. And it can't be questioned. Yeah, but, but no, it's a team sport. He didn't do it. Well, he, but yeah, it no, but he team sport. No, he they, he has he got the two rings. He they they gave him a ring in, on both okay, occasions. Okay, and and Manning's got one. Okay, what you think Peyton Manning's never gonna get another one? They're playing the Super Bowl in Indianapolis this year. You don't think I'm gonna be right there? <laughs> they never bring the Super Bowl to Pittsburgh. <laughs> never. The Super Bowl cannot be held in Pittsburgh. You know why? Because it's why? a dump. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that, and I don't think anyone else. I mean, no one in Pittsburgh uh, can afford to go to the Super Bowl. They have an empty Super Bowl. <laughs> well, that would that would be sad if that came true. But you know, it's tough times. You know, I mean, yeah. you as much as anybody understands that. I mean, I'm, you know, you you've taken on more work, right? I mean, you're doing more to to scratch out an existence, right? I mean, you're working hard. Not really. I got five million dollars in my pocket. I don't care. Yeah, he he's under the delusion that he has five million dollars in the bank. So, hmm. And you, uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't care. Listen, before I I lose my mind, I want to be on TV. <laughs> All right. I, listen, I think everybody. I think everybody would love to see you show up on television. That'd be terrific. How about this? How about a sitcom uh, with the Ed and the Dave? 
uh, you guys could be like, uh, I don't know, maybe partners, like police partners, busting, busting heads, you know, solving crimes. Yeah. Or, How or about I mentioned this. We do, we do um, a show where the Dave has a radio show, and I call in all the time. But yeah, that'd be good. Somehow, which wouldn't be true, somehow I would lose everything I got, and I got to move in with the Dave and his family. Yeah, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, Dave, Dick Banks called earlier, and we were talking to Dick Banks about hey, he's having a kid soon. And I was like, what about the Ed? And listen, Dick Banks' uh-huh. baby is not mine. Yeah, yeah, just get that not clear. It's not his. But I was saying, why well, don't we'll the Ed move I mean, down and take care of the kid? irrefutable. But yeah, go ahead. He, he, the Ed could move down and take care of the kid like Mr. Belvedere. But yeah, the Ed describing a plot just like uh, a Mr. Belvedere for the new generation. The Ed moves in to take care of uh, Oprah and Jean-Claude while you're off chasing the radio dream and, and the wife's working and whatnot. The Ed takes care of the kids. How about that for a sitcom? I mean, that'd be great. And I mean, I, I, I like the edge that we would have. Like, he, you know, we don't know what's wrong with the Ed, the character. He's taking care <laughs> of the kids. He's around and we're like... What's going on? And we find out slowly it's that he's giving other kids away for $3,500. And he's tempted. <laughs> he's running a, and, he's and running a baby like, fighting ring in the backyard. That's right. It's like a Gilligan's yeah. Island kind of thing. Like you always think, you know, like maybe this is the time, uh, you know. <laughs> that the, they get off the island. But yeah. yeah, exactly. It's going to be. Listen, uh, you, you could probably get, your, your kids is full bred white. But if they don't got that silly accent you got, you get at least 15 grand for them. <laughs> Fifteen grand, really? Oh, terrific. Do the kids have the silly accent, Dave? Do they talk like a Pittsburgher? Uh, not that I've noticed so far, but I'm gonna. Uh, don't worry, I'll I teach mean, you. Shoot, Fifteen grand, I'll you make pay sure they talk out there in Hollywood. Hollywood. You yeah, more. You pay. You pay your house off with fifteen grand in California. Yeah, I'm sure that's that'll do it. You can buy a house for fifteen grand in LA. Oh, California. So, yeah, you you get a house for fifteen thousand dollars easy in California. Yeah, no doubt. No, the yeah. Ed, how about it? Oh, I'm sorry, Dave, go ahead. You're no, gonna... please, after you, Dal. Well, I was just going to say that uh, we only got a couple minutes left here in the show, but, uh, the Ed, what does it mean to you that have the Dave call in on your final show? He's a busy fella. He doesn't need to be doing this, but he makes the time <laughs> to call in and, and talk to you. That's why he's a Hall of Famer. Ah, that's right. That he's is right. right. You are I deserve right. it. You're right, Dal. You know what? You're absolutely right. No one would know about me if it wasn't for him. That and is he true. Showed. I mean, Absolutely when I went to true. Pittsburgh, I moved to Pittsburgh, and my son heard him. said, man, that's your friend on the phone. And I said, no, it's not. No, it's not the show is. So I called, and then we talked again. Then I found the baby, and then all kinds of stuff happened. And, and we've been through a lot together. But no more barbecues. It's over. Oh, no more barbecues. What we're so we're just so we're so we're just radio friends. So now that you're not, we're not colleagues anymore. Now if I, if I happen to well, be in your town and we can't we can't uh, get a meal together. Well, no, because you you never did before. You you snooze, you lose. Because then <laughs> what I'm saying is, I wonder like I gave you ideas for television shows, for movies with Tiger Woods and Tom Cruise and that new movie coming out, <laughs> and then everything. Well, well, Dave, I don't know if you appreciate this, but the the Ed's retiring from life, not just the show, but from life. Is I'm not right? quitting everything. Facebook, no more, no more Facebook, no more Ed message board, no nothing. So this is a a horrible day. Every yeah. no Twitter, no nothing. No, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go to any more doctor appointments. What about but what will the likes of the Nova Scotian ambassador? do now you know people who you know what, what about yeah, right. like dodge you know these these are people who you know these are good people who who uh you know feel now as though you're a part of their, well, their family know, see? they're all still idiots we know it yeah. uh-huh but hey what can i do man i, I can't do much more i do what i do because i do it and then when i can't do it anymore i can't never do it no more after that I'm starting to get choked up again. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know I don't know about it, but that's what people say. And then, you know, my my, my T V show child support thing. I don't know why. <laughs> Here goes the child support again. Why don't you be the host? <laughs> yeah. All I want is my name on the credits. Creator. Yeah. The Ed. 
Ed Miller. Oh, the Ed, not Ed Miller. <laughs> That's my Hollywood name is the Ed. <laughs> like the Sheck. That's your Hollywood name. Yeah. You know, I've never thought about that, but that would have been great. Yeah, that would, I would love to have seen that on a TV show. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, but like, like I've told you before, I still intend at some point when the timing is just right, I am absolutely going to make that show and give you no credit whatsoever. I'm going to take all the money and people <laughs> and people will be like, you know, you'll call me and everything and, and leave me messages. I just won't ever answer them. And you'll be like, hey, you owe me money for that idea. And I'll be like, I have no idea who this old man is. You know? Yeah. Everybody yeah. That'll be great. Me, not you. No one will believe you. You just seem like a crazy old man. Like, yeah, really? How would I have ever known this guy? And people will be like, oh, yeah, of course. You're right, Dave. Did you know that, that one time one of our callers got mad because I one of my friends saw the Adam at the Bunny Ranch? <laughs> and he told me, and then I told I told that that the Adam was the bunny ranch, and my friend said, "Man, you a tattletale." <laughs> yeah, there's quite the controversy. <laughs> but uh, hey, fellas, I hate to break it to you, but we're over the time limit already. We're we're, we're no longer straight. All right, lines. listen. I feel like it's so. appropriate for for the three of you to spend some time together in these final moments. I'll go the Ed. You're the, uh, the three of us. It, the, it's just me and the, the Ed here. Who's the third? Oh, I thought the hockey kids were all tuned in right now. <laughs> no, Larry's oh, not no. here. It's just me and the Ed. I thought, Larry, we've spoken to him several times. <laughs> it's just been me and the Ed. Oh. Yeah. See, uh, look, you don't know who the hell you are, Mike, number one man there. <laughs> you don't know. See, that's Hollywood, man. They, wow. Yeah, I fake, you went Hollywood on it, Dave. They they I thought it. I heard. I thought I heard him talking back there. I'm sick. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we thought you was a good guy, too. <laughs> Sorry. It must have been the TV. Anyway, listen, the Ed. The greatest gift of all is uh, is Dell. He's been your greatest gift, and you've been my greatest gift. Dell, a close two. But uh, <laughs> but the the good fortune of you happening to P- Pittsburgh is, is uh, been, was, was my greatest fortune in my uh, long and varied radio career. And I'm never doing another show. So don't be calling me talking about come on NFL Network and talk about Colts because they're No, no, no I would never do that. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. Don't worry. You won't be hearing from me ever again. That's why I'm calling in now. <laughs> Certainly nice words to part on. You'll never be hearing from me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Ed, listen. I'm telling you, let's I, – I, it's uh, just like I said the first time you ever told me about child support. This is a show that must happen, and it will happen in time. I've only got four regular months in my life. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't say you're going to be around to see it. I'm just saying. It's yeah, happen. Right. That's all. Yeah. Just make sure I get some kind of credit. Yeah, no, no. we'll be sure. Oh, to you'll be gone. Why, 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 would, why yeah. would we do that? It'd be weird. Well, since, like, that, since, that guy dang, since that guy dang Norm MacDonald didn't give me no credit. No, I think here's, yeah. what, here's what I think, the Ed. I think what you have to do is, uh, is there's, you know, once you're gone, we're not going to, it'll be confusing if we try to give you credit, you know. So Dell and I will just take all the money. We might get yeah, a little bit I mean, less money somehow. Like somebody might try to give your estate money. and No, I'm not going to have that. Yeah, we don't need any of that happening. Yeah, Thanks. we'll just take it ourselves. All right, give Thanks. it all to number one nine, man. He's, all right. he's, he's the best, in, right? He's, He's living in a shoebox, for Christ's sake. I am. Yeah. I am living in a shoebox. He's a weird guy. Listen, number one nine has an animal living in his <laughs> wall right now. <laughs> this is a true story. There's a bird caught in the wall of our apartment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let me tell you something. Dell is, I don't know what the story is with uh, with his roommate, but aside from that, he is exactly like Mel Gibson in Conspiracy Theory. He just lives <laughs> no, in his, his walls. Like that are, at all. His walls are oh, upside down newspapers <laughs> done with with yellow highlighter circling inane <laughs> uh, facts that he somehow puzzled <laughs> together into some. Uh, it's nothing like that at all. I, I assure you, you know, it's nothing like that at all. Did you know that number one nine's wife's name, her nickname is A minus? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, her nickname's A minus. That's true because they named her after her bra size. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> well, I. All right, Dave. Yeah. Well, we're out All of right. time. Well, listen, fellas, is, what a treat yeah. to be a part of uh, the last show and the ad. I'm sure we'll be speaking at some point soon. And uh, same goes for you, Dell. All right, Dave. Thanks, buddy. All, All right, well, Dave, you've been a good friend. 
even though you don't call me or email me or type no letters or send no pictures of the kids or nothing. Ah. Uh. What? I don't want no one to talk bad about you. Oh, well, that's nice, dear, because you talk bad about them all the time, so it's nice that you're saying that now. Yeah, but no, that's no. like, you know, a brother, you can say bad things about your brother, and you can go on up, but when anybody else does it, then it crosses the line. Then you got to sock him right in the nose, right, the Ed? I'll punch that feeny guy right in the mouth. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. Amen. <laughs> all right, yep. fellas. All, all right, right Dave. Be good. All the yeah, best. Be good. Thanks, buddy. All right, there he goes, the great Dave Damashek. Be sure and listen to his podcast on uh, NFL.com. And, uh, the Ed, we're about out of time. We, we're over the limit. I don't even know if we're still recording. So uh, any uh, last words for the kids? Uh, don't let them talk bad about you. Now it's time to say goodbye to Ed and all his friends. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to listen to my show. So get yourself a couple paychecks and go and buy a hoe. Y'all come back now. You hear? It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. 